Welcome to Punch Planet Episode 7, the PPTV broadcast. My name is Swift. Y'all know who it is. Uh, sorry if everything looks a little messy over here. I just finished oh, finished wh freaking wiping down all of the carpet in my home after doing a bunch of cleaning today. So sorry if everything's a little bit more slower today. Uh, I'm a little bit tired, but I will not... Uh, make sure I'll make sure excuse me I'll make sure that these matches are gonna be as exciting if not more exciting than I am today uh, but if any if there's a bigger hype man than me of course I am joined by the bone saw Baker how are you doing today sir oh hello I'm very hype oh he's very hype indeed oh my good <laughs> oh my goodness uh, so, we got some matches here. <laughs> so uh, you guys have you guys if you guys have noticed uh, my emote has actually been approved uh, you can type that in the chat that is swifty 10 Dory May uh, I don't make the 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 the, the, the tag I wish I could change it, but I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys like to see some more other. I need, I need like I think three more or four more <laughs> emojis. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I hope you guys like it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of it's gonna be really silly. I want to see you guys praying for whoever you guys want to play. Uh, who you guys want to win? Put that uh, that Dory May uh, doggo in the chat for who you guys want to see take these games. Uh, but like we won't take up too much time today. Uh, let's talk about just a few things. So let's go ahead and talk about the bracket just real fast because it's a small bracket today. Uh, but once again, that does not mean the matches will not be exciting. Uh, we just have to, you know, we just have it condensed. You know, it's like it's like you know, you're di when you're diluting the matches, you know, now now it's concentrated. So let me go ahead and pull it up for you guys. All right. So as you can see, all, a lot of the regulars today, uh, with Aaron sitting in uh, the win on winner side after winning the last major uh, uh, tournament with the quarantine report, uh, which was an amazing tournament, an absolute blast to watch. Uh, unfortunately, and Hammer was in this tournament, the one who got second place, but he unfortunately was not able to make it. Yeah, I got uh, bodied by homework. Homework is powerful, man. But hey, school is just as important as PP. So I, I get it. I understand. Uh, of course, your regulars are all here. We have, of course, Eating Pets, Gilly, uh, Luchesco, aka Lucas Fio. I'm not sure what the name is about, but hey, that's cool. Uh, however, we do have three de All three devs are in this tournament. Willpower, the combat designer, 86, Paul, the uh, the audio designer, and then I am Lee, the, 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 the head honcho of it all. Lee has finally made an appearance so you guys have to work really hard for this money because you have to go through three devs to get a chance at the at the at the at the at the, at the pot. Blah! Words are hard. <laughs> uh, but we have a lot of stuff going on today. I'm super excited. Uh, once again, guys, I'm going to put some links in the chat. Uh, we are once again using Matcharino uh, for this tournament. If you guys want to know what Matcharino is, it is a crowdfunding service that we're using uh, alongside uh, Punch Planet. You can donate. You can uh, use the payment contribute option and coupon code pp weekly seven to add 50 cents for free to the pot if you guys could not uh contribute uh directly with your you know with with any cash but i would appreciate if you did uh all this money does go go to the players we're currently sitting at 151 bucks and 30 cents uh so i want to kind of see that see if we can get that to 200 guys if you guys can put like you know five bucks ten bucks just you know whatever lunch you were going to have that uh earlier today or you know if you guys don't 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 you know don't don't don't, 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 go, don't get that mcdonald's don't get that five dollar foot long yeah, don't get that five dollar foot long put it put it here like yeah. thought buster did yeah he, he donated that five dollars i see that <laughs> and apparently i've been colluding which i have not i have the seed i put the seeds as they were 
I did not. I did. I, I did exactly what this. I just babysitting the seating in terms of who, in terms of a player of uh, play, player participation and wins. So <laughs> I did not do it on purpose. Don't 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 shoot the messenger. Uh, but hey, that's gonna it's gonna happen. You guys gotta fight it out. Uh, I can move it around, but you know it's already I already kind of like set it up there. So you know if I need to, I will. Uh, but let's see. Other than that, um, another thing I want to talk about is the uh, we're do we are supporting a non for profit organization called uh, Black Orlando Tech. It is an organization that helps people of color and get proper uh, activities uh, and initiatives into uh, careers of technology. If you guys are interested in that at all, you can type uh, at BOT in the chat and that will take you to some more information on the event. If I remember correctly, the Punch Planet uh, crew is donating 10 bucks per person to that organization. So I highly recommend checking it out. And I believe, Bone, you were doing the same thing, correct? Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing there. And I, I think I might be mistaken, but I think they are also matching the pot total. Oh, wow. Is okay. that correct? Okay. So if that is correct, and I'm not a liar, if you put money into the pot, you're also giving money to Black Orlando Tech. Yeah, absolutely. So, guys, if you're giving money to the players and you're giving money to an awesome non-for-profit organization. So, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, it's super, super cool. And, uh, yeah, I think that's mostly what we got today. Uh, I won't keep you guys waiting too much longer. I'll go ahead and see if I can get a bracket set up. I was going to – if you guys don't mind, can you give me, like, a minute to do a little bit more seating so I don't got people yelling at me for not doing the seating right? So – because like I said, we once again, we had, I will call them both out, both Paul and Lee signed up literally like 10 minutes ago. So it is their fault that the seating is the way it is. Uh, but I will adjust it accordingly so we can kind of have a little bit more of a spicy, spicy bracket. So give me just a moment. Mm -hmm. So let's move. Oh, I guess I can't now since I technically started it. Let me put some music back on for you guys. Put more some Punch Planet music back up there. Shout out to Paul. Okay, no, I can't. Okay, nope. We're gonna uh, leave it as is because yeah, normally I shuffle and then do uh, then do you know by 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 player uh, performance and participation. But unfortunately, since I started the tournament, I cannot change it. So all the devs are gonna have to fight each other out. Sorry. Guess that means you might have to donate more money. Uh, so let's see, let's see. Uh, let me go ahead and start pulling up my matches here. I think I got one if you're interested. Ooh, tell what me do, more. What do you think about, I don't know, this guy named Lee I've never heard of. I guess he's like a brand new player hmm. and a uh, fire tripper. I do like putting new players on my stream at the start. I definitely am a big fan <laughs> of that. So yeah, why not? Let's bring in I am Lee and fire tripper. Absolutely. All right, we got him in here. Oh wait, I forgot. Hold on. No, we can't do that. We gotta do crow, crow first. That, that, that's that's that's, that's uh, the rule. We do. Rule, apparently. We do go. Okay. I'm just kidding. Right, gotta, I'm kidding. I'm gotta kidding. get him, guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see here. Uh... All right. Yeah. So we'll we'll have the Lee and Fire, and then if uh, I guess which which match do you want to hang back? Just so we have one more from round one. Uh, I want to bring in, uh, after this match, bring in uh, Luchesco and Doctopus. Okay. All right. I got to get out of the... I'm not playing. I want to play you, Lee. Gross. Okay. Let's see. PP, I am Lee. I think Agent's theme song, by the way, is probably like my top three songs in the game. That's very good. All right. Okay, let me get these last little bits here and we'll go ahead and get the ball rolling, guys. Uh, if you guys want anything at all in the chat, I have a list of commands you guys can use. Bracket for the bracket. Matcharino for the Matcharino. So please, guys, check it out. Once again, there are a couple things you can do to add on to that pot. You can do the bounties that uh, we are set, that are held by our sponsor, G Fuel, as well as the PP Weekly uh, 50 cent donation by doing the PP Weekly 7 code. So you guys, there's a lot of money out there to give out to these players. And uh, 
I want to see uh, if if with 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 Hammer out of the mix, if if Aaron's just gonna get a free ride. What do you think? Do you think he'll? Do you think this will be pretty easy mode for him? Uh, let's take a look at his his bracket here. Uh, he does have Luchesco in his. Luchesco is a player I think is a threat. Yeah. And I also, I don't know what Lee's bringing to the table, man. I don't know what Lee's doing. I don't know who he's gonna play. Yeah. Lee's been in like the Shadow Realm for a little bit, so I don't know if he's coming back this crazy demon or if he's uh, just gonna goof around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't know, dude, because it's weird, right? Because like we don't, we haven't seen him play in who knows how long, and then uh, and I know from my, I've heard from the from you know the Grapevine that he's been he's been uh, Aaron's coach mm -hmm. for the last tournament. So maybe that will, you know, we'll see a very similar play style to how uh, Aaron was playing last week. I am already disappointed. <laughs> this is not Tiara, but that's okay. Because I know that uh, there's there's been some some rumblings about a lot of TR changes. So maybe he doesn't play this version of TR anymore. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. You are under arrest. Where did my bracket stuff go? What in the world? No, hold on. And yeah, if your match wasn't called, round one can begin. Yes. Oh, I see. So Dog does have tools to beat up uh, like constant neutral jumping, so we'll see if uh, Fire is able to come out with that standing HK. Yeah, it, it, his jump-ins are extremely powerful, as well as dealing with uh, a lot of the jump-ins that Roy does have, so kind of keeping him in cloud here is going to be very important for sure. He usually got this corner pressure going. That was a cross up jumping hard kick. Pretty crazy. Yeah, very powerful tool. It's not nearly as strong as it was last patch, but it is still a very viable option for sure. Poor dog. I think body splash is a little better nowadays, but he can catch the body off guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're back to the neutral here. Uh, that will keep the headbutt safe. Yeah, Lee's a big fan of the counter hit setup with crouching, uh, crouching light into crouching HP. Uh, the catch if you're pressing buttons, you will get clipped pretty hard by that, by that shrink. And we said it a million times, but Roy has about four bars, so he's not out yet yeah. until that last hit. Right, and he got, got, he got, got, got a little pressured by fire there, so it was, it was a little, uh, a little difficult for him to kind of keep his balance. There's that splash you're talking about for the nice cross up into pressure. Yeah, pairing those lasers can be scary because they can be faked into a counter hit. Yeah. And even when you do parry it, a lot of the times it can be hard to punish. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, uh, when, it, when it comes to dealing with the gun gun stuff, it's like you know you want to jab check it sometimes, but if you're just a little too slow, you it just takes you just take so much damage. So most times mm -hmm. it's just kind of easier just to. Uh, to respect it for the most part. What a whip punish. This guy is incredible. He's whip punishing. Okay, puts himself in the corner here. But he has a lot of blue stuff, so he can get crazy. Fire's whip punishing, man. It's, it's, it's one of the best. Messes up. Ooh, that's a big drop, so that's gonna be game one to, to Fire Tripper. Yeah, look, look, Lee's looking a little rusty out there. Uh, but I think he just needs a little bit of a a little bit of a warm up. Not that I'm complaining. If the dev's down, take him down. My, go for it. Yeah, I heard Roy in the new patch is just Cable from NBC too, so that's probably the the disconnect. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I, that would make sense. Okay, he's checking this stuff here. Nice, keeps it safe, and puts him in the corner. Yeah, and that was that kind of stuff we're talking about where he wanted to jab him into crouching HP that is a true combo of the counter hits. And that's, that's Lee's style. He's a big fan of the reads. I imagine it's come because mm -hmm. of the games played in the past. Yeah. Uh, but he will catch you if you're not if you're not careful. All right, kind of just playing a slow stare down with big jump in here. Yeah, caught, caught fire is sleeping on us while he was blocking. He's kind of moving back and forth a bit, trying to just hold the, hold the neutral. Yeah, and Lee could have killed, I think, with both of those last throws, so I'm not sure if he just wants to save the meter, if he's that confident, or was trying to send a message. He ends up using that bar anyways. Yeah, I think he could have yeah, about to finish it off, but hey, a win's a win. A win's a win, but he's a dev. There's a higher standard. Yes, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand. 
Yeah, it's a really awkward angle for dog to, uh, to deal with when it comes to jump-ins. So uh, you gotta kind of have to respect that for the most part, or kind of either walk forward to avoid the situation, because dog walking is really good. But for the most part, if, you're, if you see a, a, a character jumping at you close in your dog, you just have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Gets himself out. And yeah, this this uh, game is looking a lot better for Lee here. He could have gotten out there, but missed big the old drop. Yeah, missed the low gunshot. It was a little too fast, but Sai just throws his whole head at him instead. And he had the that was a good option. One of the most important things mm -hmm. you can do in this game is if you are near the end of the match and you have blue bar, throw out stuff to that's unsafe and make it safe. Because if it hits, yeah. it hits. You know, throwing out headbutts, throwing out uh, dog slides, and if you have the bar to make it safe, do it. Yeah, it's almost sadder to die with blue stuff than it is to die with yellow stuff, in yeah. my opinion. I 100% I agree. Ooh, slides right into that boot. That was dangerous. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you're fishing with a character like Roy because a lot of the bigger moves have a lot of committal, which is very similar to character like Dog. Uh, where if you, if, you're, if you sit there with doing throwing boots or throwing low forwards and you're not ready, he will catch you. Nice mix there. Great. Yeah, I got hit. <laughs> It does cost quite a bit bar to do that situation, but it, it, it does keep the pressure, which is what really Dog really cares about. I thought that was the one that stayed in front. <laughs> you got hit twice, dude. <laughs> Next slide, that's a, that's a fire favorite. Doesn't want to play neutral, just wants to get right in. Flex the boot. Flex it one more time, he's gonna do it again. Not quite. Says says the whole the uh the far range game with those uh with those gunshots. Nice parry. Not sure what the slide was for. That slide was actually very unsafe, even if he didn't parry it. Overhead. The, the, the yeah, these overheads are working. I think every time he does two, they've hit. Yeah, he's done that. That's the second time that situation's happened. He's trying to do that sweep that sweep DTC uh plus situation again. Oh, uh, with crouching with crouching light into fierce. Oh, you could have killed. He, he, he gives fire comes, a bit of life. He comes back to bite him. Goes for the reset. Oh, missed the run slide. I should be deaf. This, this could kill here. Yeah. yeah Lee had the meter to finish off that game, uh, but unfortunately gave fire another uh, another life there, and fire takes it 2-1. Good stuff to fire all around. Uh, Lee was just looking, was just going too much for the reads. He wasn't really interested in playing a whole lot of the neutral situation. He was looking for a DTC stuff in to counter his situations. Uh, his jump ins weren't really, really weren't working a lot. Uh, and with with fire coming from you know a very defensive school, uh, it's hard to kind of deal with that if you're not if you're not getting the counters that just that you're that you're that you're looking for that you're fishing for. Mm -hmm. So good stuff to fire taking that game. Shout outs to the Dory May emote. <laughs> and yeah, we will be streaming all of winners moving forward in round two and everything. So just wait for those matches. Make sure not to start those. Oh. And uh, Lee, get out of here. Yeah, Lee, scram. Come on. Get out of my lobby, you loser. I'm not interested in losers in my stream. Where's my freaking bracket? I lost the browser. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> there it is. All right, so next match I'm going to bring up is Luchesco and Doctopus. <laughs> I like that name. It's a sick name. Uh, and this will be, I believe, Max versus. I, I, I don't know actually who Doctopus plays. I've seen him around, I think, in the in the Discord, but I am not too sure on who he plays. I think he's the guy with the Zoidberg icon. I think that's him. Yeah, no, there is. There. Sure. He's probably trying to get in, but you know, Lee was hogging all the space. Yeah. So we should see some Max Luchesco, a very powerful Max player, one of our better ones. And Noctopus going with the Roy. Now, now this is this is going to be something we're not quite used to. Because we, like I said, we haven't really seen a whole lot of Doct Octopus. Now, I think I've seen his name before in the past. Uh, but we'll see how this goes for him fighting the Max nut himself, Luchesco. This guy destroyed me last time we played. Mm -hmm. Me too. And uh, a lot of this because he's, he's very active. He's, uh, he doesn't really sit down, sit still for a, for a very long. Uh, and that's something that's very powerful. So. 
etc. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. That is a gift to Caldus, Nas, and Bao, Street Fighter 88, Blacklist, and Crow Space Boy. Thank you so much, etc. AKA a, a good friend of mine. I would like to thank. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy that gift leader. Really appreciate it. But back to these matches. Uh, yeah, and yeah, like I said, Luchesco is a very active player. He really mm. does kind of just kind of stay in your face when he as much as he can, as well as, you know, just kind of keep the pressure in any situation he wants. Like, for example, he's the kind of guy who will throw five fierces or three fierces at you if he has an armor, armor, but armored uh, normal. And let's keep tossing them at you until you tell him to stop. That's optimal max play. Yeah, and it, it's, it's a great play style to have. Very similar to, like, to, to uh, Hair Mountain. He comes from the same, you know, uh, cut where if you don't stop him from doing something, that, yeah, that's gonna keep. It works. He's gonna keep doing it, and that mm -hmm. includes, you know, jumping. That includes the crouching fierce, uh, crouching roundhouse uh, shimmy that he likes to do, uh, as well as just if you're not gonna punish it, he will keep. He will keep going. And yeah, he finished that one off quick, showing that that crouching heavy kick is such a good button nowadays. Yeah, it's very powerful, as well as uh, Max's jumping, jumping fierce. It, it hits surprisingly high, mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of catches. Has been catching a lot of people lately. Ready? Uh, unfortunately, Doc uh, kind of got a little lost in the sauce there. He had the, he had a, uh, he wasn't able to kind of just kind of keep his, uh, his, his butt off the ground because he kept getting knocked down. So kind of see if he can kind of hold his ground here and give uh, Lucesco a little bit of a hard time. He is, he is wearing my favorite, my favorite uh, Roy color, Convict Roy. I do like yeah, Convict Roy. He's the best. Oh, we got the. He's getting the hits. He's just not getting the conversions yet. But that will come with time. Like he's a definitely a little bit of a newer player, but he is he is holding his own here. He's he, he learned a bit from the last round. I love that he's using standing medium kick. That's that is a powerful button for Roy in terms of just kind of keeping the pace of the match uh, from getting out of out of hand. It's like it's like a stop sign almost, very similar to uh, mm -hmm. to Asian, but uh, not obviously not nearly as as catastrophic when you get hit by it. <laughs> oh, nice, it's under. Fortunately, wasn't able to deal some dash punch. Anti-air, but yeah, he's not. He, Lucesco's not the one to really sit here. Yeah, it's definitely dead. Lucesco's yeah. not, not the one to kind of sit still when he gets checked in midair. It's, I think I think uh, you and Lucesco have have that habit. Uh, if you get knocked out of a, in an air reset situation, you will you will you'll jab out, you'll throw, you'll back dash, and that's good. You just you don't you don't want to deal with the mix up there. So just if you can't fight it out, fight out. I like to do nothing normally, waiting for reversal, but then they never reversal, so I feel dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Nice loops in the super with the pickup pick as well. Yep. Ooh, try to go for a throw, throw uh, set up there with the knees. Tosses him out, Luna PD. So Roy staying. He has all. He has a lot of bar though. Ooh, he went for a dash instead of just standing still for the DTC. Maybe he wasn't. He wasn't ready to DTC uh, his own button there. So that's a very common uh, new player issue when you accidentally double tap your buttons and you DTC by accident. It's mm -hmm. very weird, especially for a game like this when you played other other fighters in the past that have a uh, a DTC type mechanic like FADC or YRC where that is a separate button or a combination of buttons that might throw you off. And so sometimes you might you might be mashing a button like low forward or or heavy button and you accidentally just waste all your blue bar. Uh, you'll see that a lot yeah. from new players and some players who are who get a little a little nervous. They'll get caught up in that, and you might and you'll you'll, you'll lose your you'll lose your bar, which is unfortunate, but it happens. But good games. And so with with uh, what I said earlier, I, I am reading this tweet from Punch Planet, and it says this week Punch Planet will donate ten dollars for every player plus match the prize pool to Black Orlando Tech. So if y'all want to donate to the players and also a great charity at the same time go over to that match reno and just drop a couple bucks yeah you can drop just it doesn't have to be a lot it can be a dollar it could be you know arrest. five bucks just something to add on to the pot so we can make sure that the, the devs not only lose this tournament but give money to an awesome non for profit so i'm really happy to see and hear that they're they're going to match that situation for us uh, but we have a regular match here Aaron versus Gilly Boat, uh, our resident uh, champion of Punch Planet, the current king of Punch Planet right now, mm -hmm. versus the setup master, a, the Wi Fi warrior himself. Boot on the router, ready to just smash it to smithereens, <laughs> Gilly Boat 4. And yeah, this is where Gilly shines. He's got the throw stuff. Yeah, if you guys aren't familiar, Gilly is a, is, a, is, a, is an agent player. Agent is a very powerful character in terms of, you know, kind of overall, kind of has all the tools he needs. He has great, great normals. A great range, great close range, great damage, 
Uh, but he does get hit. This man does not know how to take a punch. And uh, so if you're if you're not ready, uh, I can definitely give you a hard time. We don't see him very often, so it's it's, it's it is good to see him when it, when it does we show up. Because other 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 than Aaron, we really haven't seen him a lot. When I found out that his crouch his crouch increases six frames, not seven frames, when I thought in the, in the quarantine report uh, last week. Oh, crazy. Mm -hmm. Very strong showing. Besides the DPI situation, doesn't want to deal with the reset stuff. Yep, Big jump in here. Uh, when you try to fish for low forward too much, that does have a lot of whiff recovery. Yeah, Gilly does like to do uh, sweeps and pressure, which sometimes gets him in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, Gilly's, uh, his weakness he's had since I've known, or watched him play and play him myself, that this man has no neutral. This man has zero neutral. And that's not, that's not, I'm not sure from what the games he's come from in the past. Um, but if you can, if you can control the pace of the game, he doesn't know what to do. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's something I think will just kind of get better with time. Uh, as well as, you know, just kind of learning to change your game plans. Because uh, he does adapt when it, when it matters. I've seen him, you know, throw fireballs a little bit more. I've seen him do uh, standing fierce a little bit more. But if, if he follows the same game plan he has been since the last time I've seen him, We'll see him to the, his back to the corner a lot, throwing out roundhouses to catch a jumping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's just his play style. Now, nothing wrong with that in terms of, you know, what you want to do and that's your game plan. But knowing when to change it up in terms of the person you're playing, that's just as important. Yeah, I'm reading Daigo's book, and he says to, to never fall into flow charts because it weakens you as a player. Yeah. And he, if he says it, it must be true. Yeah. He, he is the, uh, the fighting game god after that. Mm-hmm. The Messiah. Getting really, really power, uh, good uh, Ooh, mileage from these jumpings. But does to throw himself in the corner. That's some talking about. You know, a lot of players do this a lot when they, they go for setups. Uh, is they'll put themselves in the corner and lose entire stage control. Stage control is very, very important in this game. Because every character in this game is powerful at the corner. Big jump here. Let's mash out. Does have a, and then he has a mash out himself. Yeah, something that Aaron did not do a whole lot last last uh, week. He wasn't really using that, that meter to kind of get himself out of situation. So good stuff to okay. kind of take advantage of that. Because uh, Gilly is not the type to really bait stuff out. He'll just kind of hit you. Yeah, I know Aaron used to do EX DP into super or DP into super when he used to play agent to keep himself safe. It was really hard to punish. And I guess you could say the same about Roy super uh, against certain characters. Okay, this cash out here, very nice. He was kind of losing these jump-in situations, trying to throw the roundhouses to your anti-air, but sometimes if you're not, if that, move, that move has a lot, quite a bit of startup, I'm not sure exactly how much, but it is, I think it's like, I think 11 or 10 frames of startup, so you gotta be careful. Hmm. Could be a safe jump, yep. Aaron should know this, he has, he has, an, he has an agent player as well. Uh, so now he has no meter, so this is a little scary now. And then decides to turn up the aggression, which is a, a very common uh, tactic players do when they're when they don't have the meter to you know to, to really confirm afterwards. They'll kind of just get more aggressive to make up for it. And uh, but Gilly's holding his ground here. Oh, nice Ooh. jump! Oh, didn't kill. Oh, no, no, oh, that's chip. He, that's, that's, yeah, the jail. Yeah. Nothing he could do there. So good stuff to Gilly. Stays alive. Yeah, and this will talk about he loses he lost the entire stage in, in yeah. literally three seconds he just yeah walked back didn't push any buttons this is this is a classic for gilly uh hopefully you know he'll learn to kind of control the stage a little bit more because an agent controls this controls the ground so well mm -hmm. fire, having obviously having the only really fireball in the game other than uh, uh other than roy's uh hit scan but if you're not gonna you know take advantage of that it's not gonna look good for you yeah, I never thought about the lack of fireballs until you just brought it up. <laughs> yeah. And I that too well. Good stuff. Uh, just kept, kept Gilly on the ropes. My man was on the, on the turnbuckle the entire set. Got Irish, Irish whipped out of the Luna PD and is down in the loser's bracket. All right, all right. So who I got next? Who you got? Let's see. Ooh, I think I know which one it is. Is it a dev match? It is a dev match. Uh oh. Looks like the it's... seating is a. Uh, doing, <laughs> doing us favors here. We're going to get Willpower versus 86. And they're going 
I also see that uh, 86 donated a nice $10 to the Match Arena and to Black Orlando Tech. Thank you, sir. That's awesome. He says ATC racism. Hashtag BML. B L M. B L M. Yeah, absolutely. That's good stuff. Thanks a lot, Paul. A legend in his own right with this amazing music. The sound you're hearing right now in the training mode, one of the best songs in the game, was made by this man. So shout outs to him. And let's see if his Sid can take on the dog. The minty dog. Yeah, very minty fresh. I like I thought I thought like with this costume, he looks more like a zombie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, Lee, can you add a uh, chocolate chip spots, please, to Minty Dog? Thank you. Hey, yeah, so this, this once again, this is a very similar. Uh, I think I talked about before in the past, a very similar dichotomy where 86 is a much, much more patient player, with mm -hmm. uh, and Will being a very aggressive player. He's like a ball of just freaking hot fire, and will just kind of really just kind of make you work for uh, work for your games. With with Paul on the other hand, being a lot more slower. Uh, no, I guess confirms and we'll kind of just, kinda just wait, wait it out. Oh, could have killed there with the happy ex overhead. He could have done slide. Yeah, this is a hard spot for Sid here. Oh, that yeah. could kill. Yeah. Oh, oh no, well, he could have done a knife rush. Oh, oh no, he no. He had two diff three different options there to kill, but unfortunately did not reach. My man Dog's head was just not there. You can't kick a dog, man. Come on, you know this. Up. What's the setup here? Oh, low. I went for a frame kill into that slide. That, that, uh, that was a counter hit setup. Could I finish the game off there, but let's keep the meter. That's safe. But nice parry. Look, you're stuck going behind, behind the scenes, man. I'm sorry. Engage. Yeah, we gotta we gotta TO a little bit too. Let's see. There's another great Sid combo. <laughs> wow, what a Sid combo! Amazing. I'm just gonna listen for electricity and be like, oh, sick. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I love yeah. about, uh, I think, Paul said is he's, he's not afraid to use Knife Rush uh, in the neutral, um, which is a very powerful technique that I think Will, Will kind of just like Ooh. really showed off. Because if you if you can kind of just like control the space, very similar to like a dash punch with Max, but if you can control the space with Knife Rush, you can catch, you can catch a, lot, a, lot of, uh, a lot of ground with it. Back up with from from the situation. Yeah, she only has an overhead if she charges it. And uh, wow, I didn't expect that to, to go uh, in Ace's favor after that first game, but he does. He, he manages to keep his cool and take first game. Yeah. Real good stuff from him here. Yeah, Will is just it, is not going to stop. Uh, even if he's getting hit, he will you know just kind of keep going, and that, and that kind of works out for Paul. No character switch, we're letting the dog rock. Yeah, it, it, Will, Will is, uh, I think, kind of having the dog. Uh, kind of wants to prime it up for, for Aaron because uh, this is probably Aaron's weakest character to fight right now. And if anyone can do it, it's, it can be Will's dog for sure. Oh, uh, goes to the overhead, but gets bitten out of it. Nice block on the overhead. Oh, oh goes for double parry. Double parry. Set up. Sets himself in the corner. So that, that unsafe overhead does not convert properly. Was a little too far. I think he might have actually charged his normal too. Yeah, that's definitely something I have trouble with when I try to do Sid stuff. Is I'll hold a button a little too long and drop stuff. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a bit of a, an issue. I hope that some point down the line we, we can kind of figure out because it's not that big of a deal. But for new players or people trying to understand the character and why things don't work, that can mm -hmm. cause a lot of a lot of a. Uh, a lot of uh, confusion. But, yeah. But it happens to all of us. Any every set player it happens to. So unless you lightly unless you piano those buttons, you're you're gonna get a charge on back there once in a while. Gets him off. Yeah, he went for that frame kill again with with, with crouching light. But Paul Paul is ready. He's seen it before. Ooh, yeah, there dead. we go. A little far for that, I guess. Yeah. 
все четко. Good block. Good block. Good change in this and this patch has made this matchup really like a lot easier for her. And oh, just control every her. every matchup I'd say yeah, for her. <laughs> yeah, every matchup for sure because she just moves so fast. Good option there. Uh, just jumping against dog is a very powerful technique. Caught him out of the run with that standing heavy, heavy kick. Very nice. Wasn't Could quite a safe jump. Let's see if it comes so back to haunt him. Uh, goes for the EX that time. It is safe at, at all at all uh, heights. Ooh. Yeah, he's getting overwhelmed now. This is what Dog wants. Set up. Misses the overhead. Or the uh, JTC. Uh, JTC. Yeah, that looked real messed up if it would have hit. Flight. Goes for the parry. He's close to Street Fighter V trigger mode. Nope. Not quite dead. He could pop it. If he gets, there he goes. Nice. Ex. Yep. He got a ex out of that. Ooh. Oh, that name would have been sick if it stayed. <laughs> he could have supered, and it would have, it would have won in the game. Oh, no. oh, oh another take. knife rush. Very good stuff. To Paul sending Will down to losers. The legend himself. It's stabby time. It is definitely stabby time. Ten, sending that dog to wherever uh, jail or whatever that that a uh, was being paid for. Just put him in a cell and then take him to, uh, I don't know, some shady guy that wants to dismantle a robot dog. Yeah. So uh, from from what I from what I understand, actually, I think he's actually a cyborg. I think he's part oh, dog, part robot. I think. I think that's the lore. Because it's, 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 it's like it's like modifications to his body, apparently. Very cool. Uh, those modifications, unfortunately, did not work out for willpower. Paul was able to take that game, or excuse me, 86 was able to take that game. Uh, it was uh, it was pretty close for the most part. Uh, the idea of you know once again paul just kind of blocking with his face and uh paul and an 86 was just like all right i'll hang out and just wait and he's gonna just brush in at me and keep trying to get me he's not bidding anything out so i can just keep hitting all these ex knife knife rushes i think he hit like five in the next set so it's up to him all right so now we have rip torn versus fire trip you guys are getting a lot of dog play tonight can i get some more door door maze in the chat please this is this is <laughs> This is this is all about dog today. The sugar daddy. There's only one oh, I forgot. I forgot about this development. Rip oh. Torn is not. Pretty. I've I've heard it. I haven't seen it. I've uh, seen the typing in the matchmaking channel, but I've, I haven't witnessed it with my own eyes yet. Very exciting. So Rip Torn on the agent. You guys are rocking the same colors and, and Luna PD. That's the, the color I use for the dummy I do my combos on for my little video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see if Rips uh, can kind of take a, take a take advantage of a lot of agents' tech tools here. With Rip being a very defensive player, it's not that bad of a choice, uh, especially with how powerful agents' frame data is. Mm. Well, that trade was actually in his favor. He could combo off that. You know, uh, Dog was in a lot more hits in that situation. Oh, goes for the risky parry. I would have done the same thing. Oh, he had the right idea, but uh, unfortunately, I think he pressed a button. So, yeah, he's getting, and Fire's getting through all of these fireballs no problem right now. Oh, yeah, that, that is a bad uh, crescent kick. All right, so I just do a little bit of fireball game here. This will build him some meter. Uh, of course, uh, with those parries, it's not too too bad for Dog. He's not taking any chip, which is important. It was for a shimmy, but Fire did not budge. Yeah, this this matchup is actually I think pretty even for the most part. Um, yeah. With the fact that uh, with with, with agents uh, lack of help, and then with with with, with Dog be able to kind of get under a lot of agents uh, stuff, uh, this is actually pretty pretty good for uh, for Doc for the most part. Uh, it, I think it's mostly even. Uh, maybe a, maybe slightly in agent favor just for the fact that he can control face a lot better than Dog. But but as long as he can keep Dog on as long as uh, Fire can keep agent uh, Rip Turner on the ground. Uh, it'll it'll work a lot really really well in his favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but those slides into the fireballs uh, allow him to get in pretty easy oh, here. I think I saw a uh, a DP, but he messed up. Right, so I have to go, I have to catch out with damage. Go for the corpse hop. 
Oh, uh, it's not that gonna was... work. Yeah. The wake up instead of he got the jet, unfortunately. Unfortunately, now no meter, but they're both are on same life, same DTC or same T meter. I'd say that Agent Sleep is one of the harder ones to punish. Yeah, it is, it is a tough uh, button to punish compared to most sweeps. Nice, DT, nice DP there, finally gets it. Goes for the neutral jump situation. Double parry. Oh, nice. oh caught the slide. Good. good trade Good trade for Agent and another trade Great. for... Yeah. Nice thing about Agent's... Uh, like his, his frame data is so good in this game. So if you, if you can catch a dog sliding like that, that that's just good for you all around. Oh, bad, bad fireball. Now, that's what I call a mindless fireball. You're just kind of throwing it out to kind of just see what the opponent will do, and you can get caught, you can get caught in a situation like that. He is in the corner, but not, not too bad. Good DTC. Okay, so there. That was a good trade for a rip. Yeah, it does cost. It cost uh, fire a T bar and a EX meter. Well, it only cost rip one uh, T bar. So that, that, that is that is a re that's what we call a resource roll right there. A resource war. Excuse me. Oh, I think he was probably trying to do something else as an anti there. Yeah, oh, mash out DP during the combo, and he DPs right back. Yep, so you're going to see a lot of people go for parry situations where they don't have me don't have a reversal option available. They'll try to parry on wake up. So definitely a good buy rip to not get caught by that. Didn't finish it off. Is it still uh, both players? It could be Ket. Oh, he's going for a, a standing fierce com uh, for a DTC combo when he has to low forward. It's not quite going to work at that uh, at that uh, hit stun. Fire attacks game one. Yeah, he's, he's doing a combo. He's doing he's doing a low low forward fireball DTC into crowd into standing fierce, which mm -hmm. unfortunately does not work. Uh, does not have enough hit stun to get that to combo. So you need to do either low forward or if you're close enough, crouching fierce. Yep, slides in. Yeah. Has has the team to make it safe. Those slides are are kind of just winning neutral pretty easily. Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of whiff recovery on the command slide. Uh, or sorry, on the on the roundhouse, uh, crouching roundhouse. But on on a run slide, it does. It is a little, a little, it's a little uh, easier to whiff, whiff punish. Yeah, so I would like to see Rip if he is doing like the fireball war. Maybe like throw like a fake to try to bait the slide into coming in. Yeah, if you want to throw a fake fireball, throw, throw out Agent's crouching fierce because he does have a very similar particle effect to uh, him, uh, Agent throwing a fireball, and that can kind of catch people jumping, uh, jumping at you. Yep, slides again. Very com very common tactic for players. They'll throw fireball one, fireball two, then wait. Um, it's 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 a very very common tactic. Uh, a lot of players do. They want to kind of catch you walking forward. Um, but if you got a character like Dog, you can slide under it. You got you got you got to adjust your timings accordingly. That was two. I'm trying to punish it with with run, run on the uh, on the parry. It's a little hard, but you can definitely do it. Oh, he goes forward, which gets clipped by that slide. And yeah, dog is full blue right now. Oh yeah, right, that's gonna be dangerous. One, one, one good hit can go into an absolute loop. Goes for the overhead. Over Get the oh, was that a setup or a drop combo? Uh, more of a drop combo, but it worked out. Because you can get you can get slide off of a ex overhead. Once again, a Rip's not really learning here. Oh, there you go. Now he's using the charge fireball. So Agent can hold his fireball for a few more frames if he holds the button that he's using to throw the fireball. Uh, and that's uh, that's a good way to deal with the, uh, people who are just throwing parries out uh, during your uh, your fireball strings. Decide not to cash out. Once again, not really going for crescent kick situations. Like like the fireball game instead. And yeah, that, that should be. That's not quite going to kill, but it'll it'll hurt. Good for the setup. Cross. That was a. Yeah, he did head yeah. to pinwheel, and that's going to be almost always going to hit at the back. All right. And, rip and fire takes that. Taking over, uh, looking like a uh, a bit of a, still of a newer agent. Still very, uh, still very primitive. Still has got the sticks and stones and making fire, uh, making uh, campfires. Uh, but give it some time. Mm. Every time you learn a new character, it's just going to take some time to kind of get used to it. So... That's for sure. And he was putting up a fight. Uh, it just needs to get those agent conversions down, which does take a second because you kind of have to forget what games like Street Fighter 4 taught you about Shoto conversions and like completely change it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure.
Because yeah, he definitely had the right idea in terms of keeping the dog player uh, on the ground. But when it came to uh, dealing with parry situations, my man was just getting parry out of his mind. So mm -hmm. hopefully that will he'll learn he'll learn some new new str new strategies later on down the line. And yeah, now we're just taking a second, waiting on Mr. Crow's space boy, who I guess if he's not first, he'll uh, make us wait. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. next time you're first again, Crow space boy. <laughs> well, let's bring it. Spring and Manwar waiting on Crow. I'll go ahead and talk some more about what's going on today. We this is the ep episode seven of the Punch Planet broadcast. Uh, I am so joined by Bonesaw Baker, uh, our our retired players, retired players going com going into commentator mode. Uh, we are currently at 172 bucks for the Matcherino. Uh, I want to see if we can get a 200 tonight, tonight, guys. We are already very close. 30 more bucks. That's all it takes. And that will be another 200 bucks towards the non-profit organization, uh, Black Orlando Tech. And I would love to see it. All right, so I'm, I'm going to guess Lucia is going to be in the purple while Crow's going to be in the yellow jacket. So let me just suggest a Oh, oh. what? Oh. I did see on his stream he was... Toying around with the Sid. Yes, I, interesting, interesting. I hosted them last time. They got mad at me, so I left because I was, I was, my, my feelings were hurt. Uh, so <laughs> let's see how he does with the new Sid. Ready? Engage. I'm excited. He's not a part of the pee pants gang, I guess, which is fine. Yeah. He'll, 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 uh, he'll come around. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's uh, Luchesco just going in already. Yep. Like I said, very well. That was very active. Like, standing, standing forward, holy moly! Yeah, he's he's, just, he's a so man good. who will definitely kind of just kind of keep doing stuff. He's not the type to slow down, and you gotta punish him for it. You gotta know your whiff punish buttons. You gotta know what's unsafe, what's what's safe. Uh, gotta have play style. Reps, nice. Yeah, gotta keep yeah. him in, in in place, or else he'll just keep going. Yeah, and I think I'm seeing some some max come out in this this Sid there with like the, the crouching medium kick there. Yeah. Uh, thinking it was gonna be like max. I know when I play Sid, I have the same issue. Yeah, <laughs> same here when it comes to uh, playing from a playing like Agent or Roy, because that low forward does not have it doesn't have any range, but it is it is a good button to catch uh, people jumping because it, it does low profile a little bit. It does low profile excuse me, a little bit. Yeah, it is plus on block too, so throw it out. I think it's probably plus one, plus two. I think. Or four. Like yeah. almost all of us, she's dangerous. I'm not sure how unsafe the round, crouching roundhouse is on Max, but the, that Chesco's like bread and butter. He loves doing that option when he's trying to do a shimmy situation because he knows he can get a launcher. Uh, but I'm, just, I'm not quite sure how unsafe it is. It's pretty unsafe, and then the hurt box does linger, so I think it's just more of a mental thing where you're like, oh, it's not still out there, but it is. Yeah. I know I have a lot of problem with, with moves like that where I'm like, I can't punish, it's gone already because I only look at the model and not think about the hurt box. Mm -hmm. Ready? So Crow's eyes to stick with the Sid, even though I did that did not look great. Uh, he wasn't really kind of keeping uh, Cisco in place with what, what and that's what Sid wants. He wants to kind of keep you stuck. And uh, that didn't happen at all. This uh, that's that. G A P. Yeah, I will say though, if you want to make the character switch, you got to play the new character in tournament too, and that you got to not. gonna be a, a, a tough journey but you can get it oh I like that punish I don't know if it was the most optimal one but it was stylish yep. it did what it needs to do which was take take the life lead continue the pressure in the corner that's all that really matters in the end I wonder if Luchesco did calculate that he'd get the pickup into the free swing as well after Chris is, is kind of getting pushed to the corner here can't let, can't let someone like Max or like Chesco really kind of just keep shoving you, shoving you back. Like I said, he'll, he'll keep you there. Okay, yeah, jump. you got to answer. It has a really good answers with crouching heavy punch and crouching medium kick. Yep. Knife, knife, knife wheel as well can also catch. Uh, obviously, that's the best option, but yeah, you got to keep him out of the air because this, this man likes to jump. He's an air frog. Here we go. Confirm there. Not a lot of damage, but. Oh, you got punished. Yeah. Ouch. Maybe could have DTC'd there, but I don't think so. It goes right past the bottle. Catches him out of the uh, sky from, from uh, the Yo. open. Not quite. Oh, off. Max has way more health than I remember, always. 
drop the combo, but gets the pickup. I think that dash punch is plus zero, so you gotta do a, a four frame jab if you wanna at least trade. Yeah, I know uh, I have a problem when I play Sid is because Sid's four frame is on her standing jab. Yeah. Everyone else is on their crouching, so you gotta kind of rewire your brain. All right, which just fits it pretty convincingly there. Uh, the Sid, once again, we're seeing a lot of new characters out for some of these players. And uh, yeah, you're, you're going to see a little bit of, you know, not not the most optimal play. And that's just because they're still learning the characters, still trying to understand how they work, how to convert, how to play in a in a competitive setting compared to just playing in training mode. So you're mm -hmm. gonna, you're, that's, that's something you're going to see. These players are all fantastic. You know, Rip's an amazing player, getting top four, top five in the last, I think, three tournaments he's been in. As well as Crowspace Void, uh, as well as an, an awesome player uh, with his max. So you're gonna, of course, they're not gonna do the best when they play secondaries, but that comes with the uh, with the environment. And yeah, the only way if you if you like a character and you're like, I want to change that character in a tournament setting, it's 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 a good place to learn. So sometimes it's best to stick to that new character yeah. so that you start playing them and not relying on your old main. All right, and it looks like. 86 is in the dog house right now. He's fighting another dog. Fire Tripper, 86, uh, going at it again. Uh, this should be a little bit different compared to the last that you saw, with Fire being a little bit slower in terms of controlling the ground. Uh, whilst you all going, once he, once he gets the chance, he just goes for the goes for the schmicks. So let's see if uh, if Paul can deal with that accordingly. And shout out to GGPO. This is a international match with Fire Shipper coming from the UK, and I believe Paul is on the East Coast. I think he's in California. California, West Coast, excuse me. So yeah, even farther away. The power of GGPO doing wonders, letting us play, having, giving us the opportunity to see some amazing Punch Planet gameplay. So let's get to that. And we saw how Paul was able to, to handle Will's dog here, but I'd say Fire Tripper is a completely different beast. He'll play it a little bit slower. He's got more of a neutral game with dog, and uh, I think that'll really benefit him in this matchup against Paul Sid. Yeah. If the, the only thing that I think will give Fire a hard time is his uh, lack of restraint when it comes to getting the knockdown. So once he gets you on your butt or on your back, uh, he will keep going. He's not the kind of to really bait anything out. Uh, and that's when you, because he all he has, he has a lot of setups and a lot of, you know, resets and call-up situations. And when we saw with Paul, or 86, is uh, he was able to deal with Will's variation of that pretty effectively, and that's where he got the majority of his wins. Mm -hmm. So that's where I think it's going to happen. If, if, if Fire overextends, that will give Will the, or 86 the game. And if, uh, if Paul can't handle uh, Fire's neutral and pressure, it will give Fire the advantage. Bad parry. They decide not to cash out though. I think you should have to kind of get the corner. Get bad uh, standing fierce, but no DDC to make to, to really con convert off of it. Right. Let's see if Fire has the. the oh, he could have killed here, but uh, not quite. See the run so bad. I know he he has an aversion to it. Yeah, my man Fire is one of his biggest weaknesses right now in terms of his game plan. Is he does not spend meter for supers. He likes to use it for pressure setups, ex slides, ex tackles. Which are all fantastic. Don't, don't get me wrong, but he had the he had the kill both times there, but he never decides to cash out. All right, we're popping V trigger. Let's go. Yeah, but this, the, the meter down on this on this install is yeah. insanely fast, and I'm not sure what that ex flip was, but it didn't really it worked out for a uh, fire for the most part. What, what do you think about that drain speed compared to happy hours? Do you think it's fair, or what do you think? Uh, I think it's fair, yeah. Only for the fact that the the aggressive, uh, the the instant amount of aggression that Sid gets uh, in that install situation, I think the it, needs, it shouldn't be crazy long. Uh, so yeah, I, I think for the most part, it's, it's it's in a reasonable place right now. Yeah, I think it's in a place where you kind of have to use it more offensively. Yeah. Is what it feels like. Yeah, absolutely. Which sounds to me. It'd be interesting seeing if you can use it defensively, but that sounds so scary. <laughs> Having that amount of frame advantage on a defense in a defensive install. Ooh, spooky. Hey, I wake up install all the time just to have a second to think. <laughs> I also lose a lot. Knife rushes out. Nice. Oh, it doesn't get the the full sweep there. 
Yeah, I feel on this uh, dog skin in particular, it, the sweep looks really weird because you, you don't have like the fur on the tip of the tail, so you don't really <laughs> see it. Yeah, you gotta look for the bot, the, the, the little uh, little robot uh, bit there. Oh, there guys, you go. Like, I think he could have killed her. I think he could have picked up with, with uh, standing. Oh. <laughs> All right, takes so taking the second. Uh, it's the first round of game two. Yeah, like, like I thought, you know, this is if fire is going to overextend, that's what will give A6 uh, a chance to shine here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll, it'll get him off. Yeah, now we're getting a little wild in the playstyles, and Sid is real good in the mix. Yeah. Both well, these characters really, really uh, can take advantage of a lot of situations like that. Another bad parry. He's getting caught with these jump ins a lot from trying to do parry. Corpse Op. Yeah, that, 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 that's an obvious corpse up right there. Bad tackle. All right, set up. Go for a safe jump. There's a walk up throw on him. Paul says no. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. I think it paid off because it could have dropped the combo, so. Yeah. That might have been necessary. Very common tactic for players who are caught in combos is to hold down back just for the waiting for the waiting for the combo to end. Uh, and if you if you can catch them off guard like that, you, you can hit them. It's something uh, I learned a lot and take a lot of advantage of in games like Skullgirls. <laughs> Push the load misses the crouching fierce. Just, uh, misses the run after the over uh, after the tar combo. Paul was ready, or fire was ready with that with that parry situation. A little too far for the uh, the knockdown. Has a slide right through. Knife rushes out. Interesting option. Very similar to like a dash when you would see somebody jump over you. I was a big fan of that. Uh, Street Fighter Four days. Nice though. Nice to wake that situation with the throw. Has a mash out with the with the, with the crouching light. The knife rush. He does. Fire has decided to bait it out for once in his life. Good stuff. Fire is now on match point. Like, does he only do that to me? He he waits on my wake up all the time. <laughs> just knows I'm gonna do stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to punish. Trying to do anything in TR is scary. You can you, you SPD, man. So you, you gotta wait. He waits the perfect range. He's he's real good at that. Yeah. Yeah, got, got caught Ooh, nice here. The way to deal with the overhead there is kind of mash out once again, getting caught by these parry jumps. Drops the combo, so this is good for Paul. Push the setup. Ooh, gets counter hit. Oh, okay. I think he should have done EX, but oh, he's dead. <laughs> so much scaling there. Like, every little hit is just like a pixel. Yep. And fires is at 2 1. That means all the devs, every single dev, is now in loser's bracket. This is a good sign for the players. Uh, meaning that they have a chance to get this money and we have reached exactly 200 bucks on the match arena thank you guys so much for your donations that is an incredible amount of money uh, from hex so let's see who, who was our latest donator was it hex cetera with the, the 2050 so i think it's the 27 dollars, and there's probably a, a quest for that thank that you change guys so there. much hex cetera you're awesome thank you so much Supporting the supporting a great cause as well as supporting our players tonight. Uh, Two hundred bucks as will now also go to Black Orlando Tech, as well as the pot bonus for the players tonight. So thank you so much, everyone. Because this is this is, this is awesome. We have hit our two hundred goal. I knew we could do it because if it's something that man we're sick at, we know how to hit goals in Three Punch <laughs> Planet. We know how to hit some freaking goals, boys. Woo! The sugar all right, so Luchesco, is this Luchesco versus uh, Aaron? Yeah, this is uh, Luchesco versus Aaron, uh, deciding who gets to be in our winner's final. So last time these guys played was pretty intense because Luchesco actually knocked Aaron out into losers during the quarantine report, and he almost got double jeopardied, uh, I believe, in winner's finals. Oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, winner's semis, I think. Uh, and it was a very close game. Uh, so let's see if uh, Aaron can handle it a little better this time around because like i said uh Luchesco comes from the school of hammer where there he's a very active player in terms of you know the ground game uh taking control of the flow of the match and aaron has been doing a lot more of a slower paced game lately with the roy 
Yeah, and I do know Luchesco is a, a butt of automatic, so I'm assuming he also played a lot of third strike. That might be false, but I'm going to believe it's true. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I also think he's also a Street Fighter V player as well, so I'm not sure what he played, but yeah. Do that realm as well. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, definitely. This, this air frog is so hard to deal with, especially with that jumping fierce. It's surprising how inst how quickly and how active that move is. That should be death, actually. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, am I back? I'm back. Yeah, that. I don't think that jumping fierce instant overheads. No, yeah, not 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 against this, not against a crouching uh, Roy anyway. Maybe jumping light kick with an instant overhead instead. Because yeah, he was kicking my ass earlier. I was playing Tiara, but it, he tried that a few times and it and it doesn't work. I don't think. We'll, we'll see if uh, Justin kind of. I think if anything that make, makes him lose is his, his, his lack of patience. So he'll get impatient really quickly, and like he'll just jump on wake up. He'll start throwing jump, jumping fierces to kind of get back in the game. Yeah, I think Aaron definitely should have baited out that EX horny toad because it looked like Luchesco really didn't want happy hour this game. So that was the one thing he could have done in that situation to get rid of it. Mashes out. So that's what to do with this nice parry. Yeah, that was really scary for a sec. Luchesco was going for like these 50-50 type situations with the round, uh, crouching roundhouse, where he do like a like he do like a pseudo safe jump and then do crouching uh, crouch roundhouse to to get the launcher. Almost Marvel, like if you ask me, it's pretty pretty crazy. <laughs> nice catch. Yeah, Roy's walk speed does make that a little easier to deal with. Uh, you can kind of just walk away from the dash punch and yeah, instantly catches it afterwards. The jump in. Interesting, he's getting jump ins because normally with a character like Max, you're usually holding down back four or holding anyway. Oh, is this a perfect? Uh oh. Oh, oh an extra a, gunshot. That's man. a fat P, boys. Uh oh. But I don't think the chest is doing I don't think it's going to make him too worried. He might get more aggressive, if anything. Nope, yeah, bad anti air. Looking really good for for Aaron. He's, put, he's turning on the aggression when, when it needs to happen. Oh, oh that could have been a little, another little forward. But for a jump, trade situation. Yeah, these these trades aren't going in his favor here. Now he's kind of on the ropes. Okay, he can't pick up here. He, it, oh, I don't think he knows that though. Okay, not quite. A lot of these matchups aren't ready for that to the the sweep uh, party time situation. I noticed. This is not over just yet. He does have the bar. Oh, he's, he he's in chip range, though. There, yeah. yep. Yeah. He's going to let that rip. He had the right idea. I think he wanted to jump over the headbutt, but Max has some big-ass legs and just was mm -hmm. it was, uh, was in the air a little too late. If he jumped a little earlier, I think he might have been able to get over it. Uh, but he jumped a little late, so that's why that, that, that worked out for uh, for Aaron. So, shout out, so good stuff to Aaron. Sean, he's got the matchup on lock now. So let's see if he can get better fighting TR, our freaking uh, dog. <laughs> And so yeah, now we're we're gonna jump on over to losers. Give me some losers matches. So we're gonna have Crow Space Boy versus Lee. I'm assuming it's gonna be a Sid versus Roy, unless Lee wants to be really cool and uh, represent Tiara for once, because she's never shown on the stream. Bible Bible boys. What do you think? Is that what's that? How's that matchup for Tiara uh, Sid? Uh, against Sid, I think it's awful. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's. It's it's rough because she could just walk away. Yeah, I can believe. Uh, that. Uh, it's not awful because no no match has been punched planet is truly awful. Um, but I do think it's it's a little in Sid's favor yeah. just because Sid be zooming. Yeah, she she's fast. She's on she's on the move. She's got she's got cardio on lock. She's got somewhere to be. Always doing that speed walking. It's like that episode of Malcolm in the Middle. If Sid's walk speed stays the same, uh, every, they both change characters, but. If Sid's walk speed changes the same uh, changes, can we get the speed suit costume from Malcolm in the Middle as one of her alts, please? I don't remember what this looks like, but I, it's I, it's great. I will find it and we'll we'll post it in chat in a little bit. But uh, this match is going to be hype. Yeah, She Hulk versus Max coming in in the clutch. Uh, so this matchup, I think for the most part, is even. I would say. Even to Tiara's favor, maybe if, if if the Tiara player is really on those parries on the swings. Yeah, that, that is also true because he doesn't really have a lot of good frame advantage to kind of keep the SPD off the table. And so yeah, this is all characters represented, I believe. So that's awesome. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Lee's playstyle when it comes to the axe. So like when it comes to Tiara's axe, 
I think the uh, chair player should start using it more like like he goes clap, where you just kind of just do it. You don't have to mm -hmm. use light kick to kind of catch them in the block string. Just doing it in a situation where you know, like back in the past, if uh, if you know you're kind of keep trying to keep the opponent on the floor, acts is a good way of doing that. Obviously, it does mm -hmm. have a, it does increase your hurtbox distance. Um, but if you do it at the right ranges and do the proper versions, uh, you can kind of kind of keep a player from moving forward effectively with those axes. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Lee has yelled at me for using axe in neutral, um, but let's see if he does it here. Because <laughs> he thinks it's very punishable in neutral, but I think it's a pretty good tool here. What's the setup? That could have been Horny Toad, I'm pretty sure. And uh, happy hour. He can punish. Ouch. And it's a counter hit too, so that's a lot of life. To the bottle, get that is zero, and Tatiara doesn't have a four frame normal if I remember correctly. So she does uh, her crouching jab. Oh, crouching jab is four frame. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that fine. oh man, that would be rough. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff to crow brings that back with the happy hour activation. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Lee's a read based player, uh, so if you can kind of just not get in the situations, uh, it'll work out a little better for you. And this this might be one of the first times he's ever played against Tiara because uh, so it's a rare character. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he went went for an SPD there after the axis. He thought he thought, he, uh, he thought that Crow thought that he was gonna go for a combo, uh, but he went for a dash SPD instead to kind of go for a go for a resituation. <laughs> Whipping stuff in the Yeah, neutral. you you can sweep him when he does that. Yeah. <laughs> go the SPD. Ah, it's gonna work. Jump. Yep. Breaking bones. This boss is gonna get hurt. Should it mix up? Yeah, I think what happened there is is Crow is relying a lot on that crouching heavy kick, which is very good. But Lee did fill me in today where if you do a very active jump in, it can beat that. So he needs to start horny toting to beat Tiara. Because yeah. Tiara, if, if any character is a master of air footsies other than perhaps Dog, it is Tiara. This character's air normals are amazing. And you gotta be ready for those situations of, uh, either with parries, uh, with the proper uh, anti-air reversal like, like, like Horny Toad or, or DP like agents. Because otherwise she can just take complete control of these guys. Yeah, on all those block sweeps, Tiara can SPD punish them. Horny Toad's out, doesn't want to deal with it. Oh, try to yeah, he's, got, he's got a Horny Toad. I think, that was, toads. I think that was crouching medium punch, which is also a good anti-air, but Horny Toad is the best. Let's first set up. Yep. Yeah. Another time to go deal with the gap. Alright, what's the setup after? No, he has him. Goes for the overhead. Oh. Go for Going chip. for the chip here. Doesn't have any meter to, to chip out now, so... Crow's in a safe spot for the time being. But it is still really hard here. She's got blue stuff, so if he wanted to go for like a random swing, but overhead takes it. Yeah, overhead's a really nice option for Next against a down back character like Max. So good stuff to be taking that pretty, pretty, uh, pretty clean with the overhead. It's a fantastic button for Tiara. Holds the complete mid, mid, uh, complete center of the screen. What's the startup on SPD? Is it five? Five frame. It used to be, I think back in the day, it was three or two. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Oh, we're trying to I go missed, for an overhead situation that. there. Oh, there we go. Right he could have canceled that into super as well, but. Oh, oh he messed it up. He's just, yeah, dropping these combos. Don't want to drop combos. Which against right Tiara, I think it's the, the worst is to drop combos against her because she has so much health. Yeah. Gap, G-A-P. No meter so, to pick it up. And I think that might have been... That's light, so he can't even whip meter. Now he's getting a little gap happy, which is super dangerous here. Oh. I think Lee wants a 720. I think that was 720, and he just didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> <Perhaps>. <laughs> All right, Lee takes that 2-0 with the Tiara. This man has SPDs on lock. Crowspace getting grabbed out of his mind. Uh, but that matchup is rough, a little rough for Max, for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely could Yeah, that's what I would say there. And uh, let's see, let's see what our Mantrino's at. We're still at the two hundred dollars. Why not make it two fifty? How how hard could that be? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the little code in real quick and then add another fifty cents to the pot real fast. Why not? 
I haven't done that yet either, so let's let's add some 50 cents. So yeah, if you haven't done that, go to the Match Reno page, uh, copy the PP Weekly 7, go to Contribute, and all you have to do is put in that code. You don't even have to put in anything else, and you can add some quarters. <laughs> take take him from my arcade machine on over to the Punch Planet Match Reno. Man, imagine if, dude, I would, I one day if 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 this game like continues to really could like just take over what I like to do in terms of fighting games. I will make a punch by an arcade machine. I will. I'll do it. Oh, I'm I'm willing to do that too. That yes, sounds that amazing. So cool. I'd totally design it like in a in a really old school style. That'd be so sick. Punk. Alright, so Rip Torn versus Willpower, Roy versus Dog. Oh no, Roy Roy, the mirror. Roy mm -hmm. Will being disrespectful. Engage. Yeah we had I guess that's everybody that was switching to like a new character is kind of going back to the old one. They want to go to the tried and true. Yeah, and, and we'll and we'll actually did uh, handily defeat Aaron with the Roy last time he played as Roy. So let's see if it uh, works out for him against a player like Rick. That's a big anti. Big hurt. Look how much damage take for one anti. That's crazy. Parry baits with the with the gunshot. Another parry bait with the throw. Wow, my boy Rip just was like, I'm pressing parry all three times here. I don't care. <laughs> Sucker. Engage. Uh, I see that Crow played Sid because he doesn't like the max max mirror match. Mm. I understand that. That's a classic. You know, if you're not comfortable with the mirror match, it's okay to play with the character. I understand that. It's probably the only game I'm actually comfortable with any mirror match <laughs> in any fighting game. Yeah, with that crouching heavy punch, it can lead into a bunch of damage, but you gotta get it a little bit lower yeah. and. That was a little weird, but thankfully, thankfully it wasn't too bad for Rip. Hits him with the with the bow. And Will is just gonna dash right in your face at, at close range. That's crazy, especially against characters like Roy, who is best one of the best, probably the best jab in the game. That's a, that's mm -hmm. a very scary situation to, 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 to be dashing into. Just like that. That should be death. Yeah. Situation with these jabs crouching fierce. Yep, does nice punish the EX uh, shot, but the shot Ooh. right back, the gun battle that we all know and love. It's space noon and they're gonna shoot it out. Got the loops. Doesn't mash out. Not not that's oh. actually, not, not rip style, but definitely worked out. Wow, what a boost. That's a big boot. Uh, he, I think he could have converted, right? Yeah, he absolutely could. He's just a little slow. He saw he saw the boot trade. He's like, oh, this worked. And then he just unfortunately missed the shot. And Will takes that. Uh, it was pretty close at the end there. Well, I think Will likes it close. He's, like, he's, like, he's not really the, the type to really have a really powerful lead. Uh, mostly because of the fact that his own hubris will eventually make him lose life anyway. So he's kind of mm -hmm. like, he, like, he likes the game close to it. It's more exciting. It's like, a, it's like a thrill ride for him. Riding the roller coaster punch planet. Ooh, that's going to hurt a lot. Ooh, cute. Very cute. Going for charged roundhouse into DTC dash horde overhead. Very interesting. Nice trade. Yep, that, that, that has a lot of hits done. I'm doing a lot, well, a lot of, uh, of, uh, of trade research in this game. Uh, like maybe like maybe I think three or four months ago. Uh, and knowing when how much it's done to me after some trades in this game happen pretty often. Mm -hmm. Let's take throw with the low. Oh. It's parry. That, that, he got in the, in the, like the last bit of active frame from on that parry. Back dash into forward dash. So they're like a melee character out here. Oh, oh he still gets that conversion. Yeah, that's death. Knuckle sandwich. Ouch! Gotcha. 
Yeah, it's just uh, Will is an, an incredibly active player as well. Bit of a bit of a nut. Um, so if you're not ready, he can overwhelm you real quick. All right. So where are we at right now in the bracket? I actually have looked at it a while. I've just been watching matches all day. Where are we at? Yeah, we're still in. Uh, we're, we're losers. We're in uh, losers round four. I'm uh, gonna have a dev a death match coming up unless they uh, do the pacifist route, which Lee is threatening. Uh, but I think they'll get in here. <laughs> I want to see some blood. Give yeah, me some we, blood. This while is we wait planning. for these devs to bleed all over the place. Uh, if you haven't, go to the Matcherino link and uh, get that 50 cents. Just uh, use the promo code PPWeekly7 all together. All letters until the number 7. Uh, it'll even tell you on the tournament details. Just enter that. You don't have to do anything else and you'll add 50 cents to the pot. And you can also add more. And, 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 and the Punch Planet team is matching that pot as a donation to Black Orlando Tech, a super dope nonprofit that is helping to get people of color into technology jobs. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really cool organization that's helping spread awareness as well as, I think some of the cool things they have, I think one of the niches I saw on their, on their uh, site is called a, uh, a tech meetup. So what they do is they'll, they'll, they'll have monthly uh, monthly series that anyone can join up to gain insight and technology or gain insight, insight into emerging technology careers in the Orlando area. So feel free to guys check out their site at blackgirlandtech.org. Uh, but speaking of tech, we are currently in Little PD fighting against against a, a Merc and the next cop. And let's see if 86 can handle Lee's Roy. So Lee didn't do so hot on the Roy last time. Uh, he, he, he did this, so let's see. Yeah, I I think he was doing better with the tiara. I don't know why he's playing this Roy. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So yeah, this is a dev battle, guys. So whoever if this if whoever uh, loses this, uh, whoever, whoever uh, loses, it's a win for us. Yeah, it's a win for us. A win for the players. All right, we're going to this gun stuff. A guns against Sid is pretty good because even if Sid does throw a grenade, you pretty much do get a free shot on her. Yeah, Gun, guns are a really good situation, uh, good for Roy. Because even if he gets hit, the trade, the damage to, trade off is much better for Roy compared to Sid. We well, could have killed. He wants knuckle sandwiches, so he's not going to spend any meter this round. This is a sweep, not quite. You don't want to. Uh, uh, 86 needs to uh, actually kind of move a little bit more forward because the grenade is going to keep getting clipped by these shots. She is not in a crouching state when she's throwing, when she's tossing nade, even though it kind of looks like she's kind of you know crouching, uh, so she can't get clipped. I am hearing if a gun is whiffed, uh, a hard kick nade can come out for free. Oh yeah, if I it whiffs, yeah, I believe that. Again. Yeah, because there's a lot of kick, a lot of kickback on the gun, so that, that makes sense. But you can also the uh, the idea is that uh, if you react to nade against Sid, it's better for the room. Jump, jumping out, Ooh. just jumping at him. Uh, he wanted he's been he's saving this four bar. Classic, classic Roy's want that knuckle sandwich. Corpse out, goes for the throw. That's death. So yeah. that that is a Lee classic. Uh, if you guys ever. Want a little little uh, little tech on Lee? He does low four gunshot and low four gunshot. That's like his favorite thing in the whole world. So low four gunshot, then he he knows you're gonna move, and he'll do it again. And it, it catches people all the time. And unfortunately, Lee won, so he can't change the tiara on this match. But uh, <laughs> maybe if Paul wins, he'll change. Even though the the tiara agent matchup is not a beautiful one. Yeah. Receiving new orders to engage on this scrub Roy, this boomer Roy, as, we, as I've been seeing in the chat. So now he controls the fireball one. With, with Agent's fireball having a lot more priority over uh, Roy's, this is basically, he's doing the same thing he's doing with Sid, but now with Agent's uh, techniques. Nice stuff here. He's just keeping Roy at bay and going in. Could have added super on there, but he... Ooh, nice. That was awesome. Went right under his jump over the fireball. That was really cool. Ouch. Took two boots to the face. Yeah, I think there was like a, a debated DP that just didn't come out there. Double jump. It's out. 
Yeah, now that Roy has two bars, he can super any fireball, so it's kind of risky to throw him. Yeah. Could have converted that on Lee, but size not good. Lee's getting away with a few jumps here. He could be supering a lot of these situations here, but he's holding on to the bar. Alright, absolutely nothing. Beautiful, just his movement. Oh, he didn't see right that out. Does, yeah. Oh, caught his dash! That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> yeah, he DTC'd and dashed a little late. And caught the fireball on its way out, so that, yeah, that, that, will, that, will, that will clip him. Okay, yeah, if, you shoot, if you shoot the fireball with the first laser, sometimes the super comes out too slow. So if you do want to beat fireball clean, it's got to be just super. Yeah. Yeah, Aces is not interested in fighting Lee at all, and it's not working out because he's just kind of losing this fireball war, which, you know, is surprising for a character like Aces. Yeah, a lot of jumps here that, that aren't being answered by the DPs. Right back in. Now he gets him out of the sky. Oh, once the oh, A6 has the proper movement to deal with the whip situations, but he just not he doesn't have the uh, the reactions to whip to whip punish. This happened, I think I think I've seen like three or four times now where he has the idea, he knows what he wants, but he decides just to wait. Nice parry. Catches uh, the the, low, the the mindless low four gun shot. Oh, that's death. Not quite. Oh, he scaled it a little too much. Heavily with all those jabs. Oh, could have killed there. DC to make it a little safer. Paul takes that clean 2-0. Gotcha. Or excuse me, Lee. Excuse me. Gotcha. A man got shot. There was a murder in Luna PD. It was Roy with a gun. And yeah, next up we're gonna have. Luchesco and Willpower, who got in here faster than I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, holy moly. This is going to be interesting kind of getting all my match timestamps now, because these guys are moving so fast. But no, no, not about me. Makes, it'll make going through footage easier. All right, is this, is this winner's finals? Or is this winner's? This is, uh, no, no, not winner's finals. We're going to do winner's finals after... Oh, this is losers. Okay. This No, 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 not after this match. After two more matches, we'll be at winner's final. Okay. Um... Which I know Aaron doesn't like, but hey, if you're gonna win, winners have to sit. That's just how tournaments work. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta get, gotta let the other guys duke it out first. You want to stay heated up? Lose the first game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if, if 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 the prophecy stays true, uh, Aaron actually needs to lose, or else he's not winning the tournament. Ah, oh, the prophecy. Because yeah. he only wins out of losers. He doesn't win out of winners. And uh, this just confirms uh, that, that Paul is the best dev, because he did not bring out a Roy. He did not. Love you, Paul. Thank <laughs> you for, for for being great. Both has to get out of that. He's so he's sick of dealing with, uh, with Pichesco's pressure. Ooh. So needs yeah, a bit I more. That crouching heavy punch in, in neutral can be pretty good. You got to be like ready to carry the follow-ups, or it's going to be free. Oh, could have killed with the X head, but decides not to. And Will, Will brought this back pretty convincingly. He kept, he kept catching uh, Luchesco. I'm assuming you're trying to go for a grab. Wow, what, what that overhead did so much damage, by the way. What the hell? Jeez. Yeah, I'm surprised that, that Luchesco didn't super him there, because I know that whenever someone starts, like, kind of doing one thing at a distance, he'll hold back and get ready for that super. Uh, didn't pick it up there. Yeah, it was interesting, because uh, Luchesco kind of kept getting hit by Dash, low, Dash crouching short. What a shot. Oh. Wow, what a hold. Saw him land, still held it, and he jumped into it. That's brutal. Gaps him. Happy are about to proc here. Yep, gotta be ready for it. Here, here it comes. One more hit. Right, party time. He will, he will jab him here. Yep. Oh, nice. Uh, nice uh, freaking gap. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this puts him on a timer, but he gets that nice pickup on the back dash. Yeah, back dash. That is a good option there against back dash. Jumps jumps on his reset there. Oh, misses the combo. He said he went jab jab into into super. I guess. Oh, couldn't let it go. Ooh, yeah, he just was holding it, but didn't get it there. Oh, oh the parry parries, which I think was the correct choice. 
Yeah. Uh, but it didn't work out there. Both of them went for the <laughs> went for the parry. They both went for their own. They they read their own read. <laughs> That's what happened. They 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 both just throw their, their own book at each other. Both takes that first game. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be an absolute freaking slugfest with both the players' play styles. Nice combo. Doesn't have to make anything with that, so he had to be ready for a reset. Goes for his gun, gun cancel stuff. Rip it right out. He's over it. Oh, nice. Bad parry. I'm not sure how he got hit. He was just kind of just, kind of just blocking with his face. Safe jump. Whoa, that was weird. I didn't think he got on the other side. Oh, he wants to four bar. Oh, he should have killed him. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I think in that situation, the super might have been the better choice there just to get him on that pixel and then be like, block this mix up or die. Yeah, because he, he could have, I think, got a headbutt, low gunshot, EX, EX headbutt, uh, and then gone for a uh, level, level, uh, a super, uh, Two bar conversion. Mm -hmm. oh, a little far there, yeah. With with those, you have to be real close if you want the two crouching jabs before the medium punch. Yeah. Oof. Got him. Yep. Do it again. He's gonna jump right now. You ready? Here it comes. I knew it. <laughs> Got a shot. <laughs> All right. So bar away from Happy R on Luchesco's side, and no meter on Will Powers. So. Depending on how Luchesco feels about his state and happy hour, this could be a real good round for him. Yeah, and Luchesco's not really the type to really look at his bar. When he gets, when he gets, it's, he's the type to like, oh, I got half party time, cool. I'm just gonna use it as I, on the fly. He's not really the one to like think of like, you know, oh, okay, don't, I don't want to hear yet. Let me go ahead and do something else to kind of keep my meter in check. Yeah, and as we were talking, Roy just stole half his health. <laughs> that should, should be, be it, jack, I think. Yeah. The right combo. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch! Where does life bar go, dude? Can you tell me? Gotcha. I I don't know, man. I don't know where that first half went. <laughs> I was watching, and I still don't know what happened. Yeah. I was just sitting here, just so rambling. Yeah, Will, if you are listening, uh, hang out because uh, you do get a back-to-back -back match, such as the beast, and, and just... uh, we'll also get Lee in here yeah. for our uh, last dev death match of the stream. Alrighty, guys. It's once again. This is Punch Planet Broadcast, Episode Seven. We are getting down to the last couple of sets here. This is the. This will be the final Dev versus Dev match, I believe, with Willpower versus Lee. Uh, <laughs> this should be a very interesting game. Uh, but once again, this is a win for us. This is a win for all of the players currently still in. That includes Aaron Fire Tripper. Uh, both of them are still in this tournament uh, and on the winner's side. So we shall see. Who gets this money? I hope it's fire this time. Am I? Am, can I say that? Am I allowed? Is that allowed? Uh, let me look at some documents here. Yeah. Uh, I think so. There's some small print. Okay, cool. All right, so the bias, the bias is allowed just for, just for today. Cool. Perfect. Glad, glad we got that, uh, that in triplicate. Yeah, it said if Aaron wins X amount of times, then it is okay to root against him. Okay. Just making sure. All right, so this is going to be a disconnect. But, who who did the networking on this? Yeah. Come on. So I am Lee. This is Willpower. Hopefully they can get in this game. That'd be big sad if they can't. Cause I want to see this match. Oh, there he goes. All right, we'll we'll just blew up. All right. uh, <laughs> no big deal, guys. While we're waiting on that, I'll go ahead and show you guys some more of the uh, the bracket while we're waiting. Uh, hopefully, uh, what's his face is uh, connection isn't being causing too much problems. I think they're both. I think what. Uh, Will's on the is Midwest and Paul is in a uh, Lee's East Coast. I think I think Lee's in Florida and I think Will is also in uh, California. If okay. I'm is correct, he, I might be York? mistaken. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, Lee was New York, but then he moved to uh, Gator Town. He went down to the down to uh, Florida Man's, mm -hmm. where his internet became unplayable. But then he uh, he finally beat that matchup, which is uh, good to hear. Yeah, while we're waiting, no big deal, guys. I'll show you some of the brackets so you guys can see what's going on. You can also check out the bracket here on the in the uh, chat here. If you guys want to take a look at it yourself, but I will go ahead and show it to you. While we're waiting on these guys to figure out their nonsense, 
uh, like I said, like I said, this has been a pretty exciting tournament for the most part. Uh, a lot of two O's once again in round one, but that's just kind of that's just kind of the way it goes. Uh, but you have Aaron, the our King of Plunge Planet, versus Fire Tripper in this winner in winners on the other side of the bracket, and we're currently on a Dev Death Match down here in Losers Round Five, and this will decide on who will get a chance to hoard that pot. Uh, Ugh. So in terms, you see what I'm seeing? I am. Ugh. I'm seeing a lot of. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of cops right now. What is going on, man? I'm seeing a lot of cops. A lot of coppers. So hopefully they can play. I, like I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of looking for a disconnect now. No. <laughs> oh no! Right. Come on, come on, guys. Who should I? Who should I DQ? If it's uh, if it if happens, then we gotta happens. do a coin flip. I, I'm gonna coin flip it. A coin flip it. I'll I'll let chat I'll let chat decide on the uh, on who Ooh, who gets what. Like who who gets who who gets uh, heads and who gets tail. I'll let chat. Decide. Yeah, survivor rules. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll <let> chat <laughs> The sugar daddy. And then, like, it, the chat's gonna vote for Lee, and he's like, "I got immunity. Look, it's like I didn't even know we had an immunity charm. Where'd he get that?" Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. I was, I was looking really looking forward to this match. We should but... do a street poll if, if it is possible. Street's got a good idea there. You want me to, guys? You guys want to poll it? I will let the stream decide. Let me bring up my straw poll. Wait, we can play. One sec. What? Uh, I don't know. Will's Will's doing some weird psych out su stuff here. Um, they're, gonna, they're gonna play on the newest patch. That's what I believe. They're gonna <laughs> they're gonna go to the newest build and go play over there, and we're not gonna be able to see it. While while they're doing this, I am gonna I'll I'll run real quick to the restroom and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just my take a second. That's fine. Uh, if anything, I could take a little bit of a break. But oh no, they said we may we make lobby. Sure, no problem. New lobby's up, y'all. So don't start yet, uh, Will and Lee. We're gonna. I'm waiting on my my wonderful co-commentator, Bonesaw Baker. You can find him at Bonesaw Baker as well as twitch.tv slash Bonesaw Baker. If you guys like horror movies or anything related to horror movies, check him out. He does a podcast called Blank the Killer, as well as uh, I believe movie uh, movie nights. Uh, I think what's it called? Blood and Bone. I think that's what it's called. Uh, so if you guys like something like that, feel free to check it out. Uh, it's super cool. Um, he's a great guy. Uh, he does. Uh, he does. He also does stream fighting games as well. Just beware of uh, a little bit of salt. Don't tell him I said that though. Shh. Don't tell him. Chat. Don't tell him. Okay. So while we're waiting on that, guys, I will show you some more of what we got going on today. Uh, I showed you the back, so I'll go ahead and show you the Macharinos one, one more time before we get to the top three. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and pull it up for you guys. Uh, this is a Macharino that we are currently hosting. We're currently at $201.50. Uh, I want to shout out to the top three donators. That is Punch Planet with a fat 140 uh, from last week's pot. And then Hexetera doing uh, 28 bucks, adding a nice little chunk of change. Thank you so much, Hexetera, aka Karma. Thank you. Much love. You've been awesome in supporting me, and I really appreciate that. Uh, Willpower donating his lunch money over to uh, the, the Macherino as well so with, a, with, a, with a nice 10.50. Uh, looks like that might be why he's not working. He may because he may be hungry. So maybe don't forget to eat, man. Stay stay uh, stay healthy. Uh, so as well, if you guys are interested at all, you also can donate with our our quest here, our bounties with the G Fuel sponsors. You can follow G Fuel Esports, G Fuel Energy, as well as retweet both of those accounts to add another twenty cents to the pot. It's really easy. It only takes you a few minutes. Go ahead and give that a try, guys, as well. If you and as well, we also have a marketplace where you can buy a copy of Punch Planet, and that money will direct directly go to the the pot, the Macharino pot. So if you guys want, if you guys are interested at all in the game, if you guys want to give it for your friend. Do it through the Macharino, and you can give some money to these players. So, another good, a viable option as well. And we're back. Ah, welcome back, sir. Cool, cool. I okay. hope they have uh, they have fixed this. Yeah, whatever, whatever magic behind the scenes that Will has done. Hopefully, it get, uh, solves our issue here. Still, unfortunately, uh, a Roy mirror, but that's okay. <laughs> That might be why. So that's why my blind might not be able to play. The game is like, no. 
I refuse to see this. Okay, I hear music. That's not not looking good. Hey, if we want to do this on the beta with the with the robot, I'm fine with it. Yeah, if we can watch, I'm down. <laughs> We'll give him one more try here, and then I'm gonna straw poll this. This uh, who am I DQing? Who am I DQing? Okay, so it is voting who you want to lose, not win. So just be prepared yeah. if we do it. <laughs> it is, it is weird though, because it's like, do we play? Do we do report cards? Report cards. Because Will's been here. Yes, this is true. Every week, almost, I think every week, and has won. All right, this is your last chance, Will. Last chance. Otherwise, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let the people decide. He's jumping on on a uh, Paul's machine. Yep, this is his last moment. Here's the straw poll. Guys, if it doesn't work, I want you to go to this link. I want you guys to decide on who I'm going to DQ if it doesn't work. Okay. Read the fine print, yeah. Who am I DQing? Yes. Not who's gonna win, who I who I'm DQing. I want you guys to decide. And and you gotta think a lot about it. You know, think think about who's been here. Think about who you wanna see though. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of factors. Yeah. You'll have until the next disconnect yeah, this to, is, to place those votes. This is the last disconnect, guys. If this doesn't work, I am letting one of them go. Because I know both of them can play fire and Aaron. I've seen Lee fight fire already. I see willpower fight uh, fire already. So I know they will work just fine. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the votes, everybody. So Lee is kind of like Aaron's mentor. So that could be a sick, like, becoming the master <laughs> match. I'm just throwing that out oh, there. Oh, putting a little, little, adding a little bit to the now, script, I see. Now I don't know who to choose. So I hope this just goes through. Sugar Here's the hope. This is actually just Paul playing for. Hey, Will. yeah, yeah, exactly. This is Paul now. <laughs> just, he just gave the game. He didn't want to give the the game to Lee, so he's like, he's letting Paul play instead. So don't mind the uh, the in, the end game uh, text guys. That is uh, actually, uh, from my knowledge, is willpower. So mm -hmm. let's, let's watch this game. But they made it. They are roommates. Roy's hopping all over the place right now. His bald head flying in the air. Who is who? I'm already lost. They're, they pick like the most <laughs> boring colors. Yes. Uh, Will is the gray jacket, and because uh, Lee always plays the default color. Oh, the, the classic. Nice conversion. Is is a uh, really clean on those for sure. Oh, next goal. They're going in. What color is that? Is that I guess it's a gray jacket, right? I'm gonna call it gray. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Gray with the uh, the ugly ass maroon pants. Yeah. I want to. So I got him out of his his dad's closet in the seventies. Yeah. He, he used a time machine. Oh, that's, that's true. That's in the future. Future. Nice parry. This is not really do much. Really, try to do the same thing back at him, but just the jab reset. Yep. Oh, Misses anti. It was a little too fast. Anti air from Lee. He has to hold that. Another setup, but misses misses his gun cancel. Ooh, bad Ooh. parry. Ouch. It's gonna hurt. Does he cash out? Not quite. Wants to save the way for the four bar. Ouch. It's hit by two boots. Back into the corner. Matches out with no short. Low short. <laughs> this is a lot of throws back to back. Yeah. Right, he's out though. Just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Oh! Could have been death. Can't kill here, not quite. He, uh, I think he might. He uh, was so close. With, with four bar? Oh, yeah, he oh. was a pick slowly from that. Oh, could have killed there. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh. There's like, Wow. Oh. That That is one of the fastest recovering reversals in the game, so it is kind of hard to punish at times. Yeah. Yeah, shot. We'll take this game one. Yeah, that was a little spicy at the end there. They both kind of just throw, throw, throw in their head at each other. Man, this man can hit but you so hard you bounce off a wall. That's crazy. What is, what is this power? What is the power of Roy? Nice anti air, lots of damage. Try to go for a reset there with the overhead. Set up, yep. Yeah. That's a cat's counter setup. You match, you're gonna get your ring clipped. 
Gotcha. Got and then, oh, the double. Ooh. So that I, I'm actually a bigger fan of doing that situation because you recover faster than uh, medium than a uh, medium gunshot or straight gunshot because uh, you're doing double highs. So you guys should get a better B situation if you do uh, the double high gunshot uh, as you're on that combo. Hey, that's smart. Do, do you know which one does more damage? I think medium does, uh, medium does technically more damage. more damage. Yeah, medium does more damage, but you get better frame advantage on the double high gunshot. Ooh, big hit here. That's in uh, DTC for that big conversion, though. Didn't call on these throws here. That's Antire once again. Decides not to, decides not to cash out. Right, one good hit. He will die. Oh, that should be death. Yeah. Oh, decides Ooh, to, he didn't no, use no. meter. We're just scaling. Yeah, this is real rough for Lee now. One yeah. Point. And Willpower takes it with the power of his internet. So I decided to ice Lee all the way <laughs> to the end. And takes the game. And Lee is out. That's dev number two out of this tournament. Only one left, guys. And he has to take on the loser of Aaron versus Fire Trooper. So I'm gonna look at this poll to see who won, the, who was winning. So I'm gonna hit the results. Let's see. <laughs> I only have two votes, but if you want, it's only two votes. It's only Damn, two votes yeah. yeah. I, I didn't vote yet. I couldn't decide after there was the uh, the the lineage story uh, arc. I was yeah. like, I, I don't know. So this should be interesting. Now, normally, uh, Aaron does have Fire's number in regards to their in regards to the playstyle that Fire has, but of course. Aaron has a bit of a, I'm gonna call it a mental block when it comes to fighting dog. Uh, it's he he likes to complete he likes to you know, give a lot of hard time when it comes to the character self. When it, when I think he needs to realize more, it's not much so much the character. It's so much how he handles how the person playing the character uses it. So obviously yeah. fire comes from the same school of my game style of my game plan, and that all the, and that really uh, polarizes against Aaron's play style. Mm -hmm. I also think it is Dog's model, and they should change Dog to a pug so it fits the hurt box more, and because it would be cuter. Yeah, it'd be very ugly cute, that's for sure. <laughs> think about it, a robot pug? That'd be pretty Cyborg crazy. Pug, sorry. Cyborg pug, sorry. The party pug. Yeah, I think in this this matchup, I, I did check the rule book earlier. You guys heard it. Uh, we are allowed to root for Fire Stock. Yeah, I would love to see it. This man has been working hard, uh, but he is fighting uh, a player he plays a lot and who is Ooh. very good at dealing with air, uh, Fire's playstyle. Man, that's so much damage. That hurt. Who should jump at that range is actually pretty scary for Roy because round, round, uh, fires are dodge round house can catch that really really well and just carry you all the way to the time screen. Should be dead, yeah. Oh, and this is first to three if uh, we did not say it yes. is uh, first to three winners finals. This is winners finals, so this is first to three. Uh, so you guys will, they will play a total if, at max five games. So, or can do max. Yeah, five games, yeah. I don't, I don't think either of them is going to bring out a max. No way. <laughs> Max fire games. I'm mad. Bad joke. Dad jokes over here. <laughs> I'm upset. All right, so yeah, this is the neutral. Which fire has gotten um, pretty good at using the tools that dog has for neutral, which aren't your your regular neutral tools, but he makes them work. Yeah. He say he does struggle a bit at the neutral because he's, he's he's been having a hard time dealing with the low forward of Roy uh, in the matchup. Even though I think that's what kind of is the linchpin for this game for for Dog's uh, victory over Roy is if a Roy's too is using low forward too much. Wow, that, that was a cross up. up. Yo, can I get a clip of that, please? <laughs> I saw a cross up on there. What the hell? That's safe. That is very safe. We have BX dive kick at all distance, at all heights is safe. I believe it is plus, I think, eight or seven. I can't remember. Engage. And yeah, that one was pretty low, so he probably got the, the bonus there. Still really scary because as we've said until we're out of breath, if Roy has four bars, he's gonna punch you. You're gonna die. Yeah, so good stuff to- brutal. Uh, 
Yeah, absolutely. And it's very scary, especially with having two team beaters as well. Anything will hurt so much. That was a great setup uh, with the uh, with the uh, MIDI J JTC. Because even if he parries it, he has to still work afterwards because it's uh, very similar to a jab in terms of frame data. Ooh, ooh, we're we'll getting this is a big opening for, for fire yes, here. It's really good for fire. One, two, three. One more setup. Goes for the overhead cross up. Yeah, I heard a jab there, but he got caught during the uh before it come out by the throw. Alright, so. takes game one. Generally, if you see a dog doing a corpse hop, for the most part, near the corner, it usually will cross up, uh, unless he's at a certain distance. You can tell based on where his face is. If his face is right on you, he will he will cross up. If it's if he's like 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 a, like, like a paw away from you, it won't. So you kind of have to be aware of his position on the screen to deal with the corpse hop. Oh, this is not looking good. Taking a lot of damage here. Oh, tried to parry, but he got JC because the cross up, and that's a fat P. Oh my goodness. Ready? Engage. Ouch! Not looking good for Aaron right now. Oh, yes, he has the advantage here on this set. He's he's shown that he's worked a lot on his mentality, so he doesn't tilt as easily as he has in the past. If you saw my set against him last that one night when he got really mad, oh man. That man, I, I I legit saw a meltdown in the middle of the game. I'm calling I'm calling you out, Aaron. I'm sorry. I was gonna keep it to myself, but that was that was hilarious. I do and it I'm too. Sorry. I'll be on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll share the story later. It was absolutely hilarious. But if we, it happens to all of us. Yep, that is safe. Is Not yet. Yeah, Very no. close. Let's and over. Oh nice. Oh. Yeah, did a did a bad yeah. pinwheel. Did it too high. So he could he was able to jab check right out. Gotcha. I think he could have killed him with a combo off of the parry. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Nice catch. Fire is neutral. It's incredible when it comes to whip punishing. I need to learn a lot from him when it comes to whip punishing. Ooh. Ouch, yeah. That low forward is how you're really going to win this match. Goes for the setup. Yep. Stays in front. If he does yeah, the me medium punch, it's usually going to stay in front unless it's heavy run. So, good stuff. And he does like to use that meter to extend his combos, uh, not to kind of finish out with super. Which, I don't know, damage-wise, maybe that was a little similar to just a super combo. This might kill. Yep. Ouch. Yeah, it's 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 a weird choice. It's, it's a weird dichotomy with dog. It's like, do you want to go for a harder combo that potentially can do like a few more points of damage, or just go for the super? Um, and that's something you have to think about as a dog player because your execution is very important when you do stuff like that. Very important. And uh, how, how's your Oki after super? Because maybe like, is he, is he doing it to, to get better setups after or? So the super Oki is very similar to like, let's say Air, uh, Roy's super Oki when you, you do get a, a, a small, a, a slight safe trip situation. Mm -hmm. um, but the most the only reason why you want, of course, is for corner character. That's the big reason. Ooh. That empty JTC was real nice. Ouch, catching him just moving. Go set up. Yep, stays in front. Yeah, the aggression is not working well for Aaron right now. He's just getting absolutely overwhelmed by Fire's pressure. Oh, bad sweep. That actually is a yeah, lot of follow through. Here, uh, Fire just needs to just relax. He's not going to have a life lead for long because Roy Loops hurt so much. Oh, man. Ouch. Man, that bad. hurt. Damage. What? <laughs> Ooh, got counter hit on the on the low on the crouching medium punch. He's just like, I was like, I don't care. I'm just gonna jump here, and it worked out. Oh, tried to whip punish, but was unfortunately uh, buffering a little too hard. Missed. He's out. Ooh, yep. He, he, he can he can get that auto correct. Goes for a frame kill, but not doesn't quite get it. Fire sitting there just playing, just kind of waiting waiting for his turn, waiting for his moment. That's what dog. That's what dog players want. That's that, that, that's my school. Is we want to we wait for our moment. Once we get the moment, then the tr then the ride starts. And it's uh, Roy's moment right now. Yeah, absolutely, he's getting a lot of damage here. And sends a build meter instead. I like that run in, but now you got to put the pressure on. Nice, nice parry. Right, time for setup. Does he go for the damage? He does. 
I wanted to learn that. I, I just got to start doing the uh, the 50 50 under on that one. Oh, almost. Almost made that meaty enough, but not quite. Could have slipped could have there, but decided not to. This is probably it's death, right? Kill. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not, it's not over yet. We got a round three here. We got Dog with two sticks of butter. Yeah, just about, uh, he, once he kind of gets the right confirm here, he can definitely, you know, like I said, if he can get a super here, he can really carry the corner compared to a lot of characters, which is fantastic for Dog. Yep, yeah, bad, bad standing medium kick. Yeah. Fire, fire, one of Fire's uh, common weaknesses is that he's not the type to really care on, on, on hit for if he gets If he gets hit, he has the habit of pressing right, right, even if he gets hit. And it's something that uh, will catch sometimes, but a lot of times it will kind of not go well for him. Yeah, I'm not liking these these parry uh, attempts here because Aaron is showing that he's being real patient when he plays as Roy. Yeah. And so you're basically saying, please counter hit me. Yeah, the one carry you don't want to get counter hit by. <laughs> Is is the ex, is the ex cop with with a punch of a freaking supernova? Ready, engage. All right, so two one in Aaron's favor. He needs one more one more game to make it to the grand finals. Interesting pin with situation worked out for dog. It did put him in, get towards the corner. If you want to lend fire your power, put those dog emotes in chat. Give him the praise he needs to have a chance here. And yeah, that's what you want to do against Dog. If you see him going for fishing for uh, for run stuff, neutral jump is a fantastic option to deal with it. Uh, just like so. Beautiful option there. Instantly gets a massive amount of damage and the life lead. Uh, because neutral jump just really gives Dog a hard time. Ooh, nice way. Okay, didn't have to parry there. He had the life lead. Oh, tried to shoot by five, five jab and unfortunately fire got caught, got caught in his own it, uh, execution. Happens a lot, especially with run stuff. That's not going to be death, but it's going to be close because yeah. Roy damage, baby. It hurts. You're under arrest. Ready? Did you get hit by Roy? Then I have some damage for you. <laughs> right Try the back dash, but gets caught. Fire's not out of this yet, though. He, he has the corner, and this is what he wants. He got really a huge amount of work recovery on this on the crouch. If he doesn't get the run stop off of it, I think it's like 19 frames of like whiff recovery. It's crazy. Oh, Barry. But Barry's right back, but misses it up. Messes up the uh, the punish. Catches him. Yep. Really too high to get anything afterwards, though. Could have DTC it if he wanted to. And now looking good for fire. He's in a bad spot. And that should be death. Yep. Caught with a low forward. He was going a little too hard there. Got caught in his dash, and Aaron takes that 3 1 over Fire Tripper. But Fire's not out of this just yet. He is uh, going to sit for a sec while we get the loser. Uh, uh, or, sorry, excuse me, the winner of Lucas Finals against Paul and. Who, who was that? Uh, all all devs looked to me, uh, the same to me. So it was <laughs> Will, right? The it one. was Will, yes, it was Will. Mm -hmm. I don't think they updated their scores. Ugh. Yeah, it was Will too o overly uh, cheating with the with the net with the router uh, swap. So the fire, come on back. We need you to fight Will Power and see who whose dog or who's Roy will take on Aaron for the grand finals. Now this is interesting because if if Will knows i think uh, if he if he's familiar the dog mirror actually goes in will's favor because i think fire struggles in that matchup um however he has been losing to roy a lot lately and so that match is obviously bad for roy bad for uh, fire as well in terms of his in terms of his uh, play style so depending on what he decides to do here both are actually in will's favor and he does decide to go for the exciting the, oh, the disrespect <laughs> Dog but I'm gonna beat you with your character. So we got the real boy versus the cyborg boy. Yep. Got parry twice. Yep, he's not, you gotta be familiar with your own character. Goes for his own one stop pressure. He likes to right now. Doesn't want to deal with it. Frame kill for the throw. Dive kick. Cross up. Yep. Oh, drops his combo, but keeps it safe. Nice 
catch. Ooh, yeah, not, not quite close down jump point. Need four to get that roundhouse to hit. Kick DP's out. It's crazy. Is slide finisher? No, did not have jump points to get that combo. Missing up his JP situations here. Gotta watch your JP jump points in time during your combos. You have a chance to like, kind of look up for a sec to see where you're at. Uh, you don't want to mess up your combos like that, because that, that's rough. That should be it. Yeah, dog struggles in anti-airing dog really hard. <laughs> Dealing with jumping HK with, with, with a nerfed crouching HP uh, makes that mismatch up actually pretty tough when it comes to dealing with the air. That's a nice combo here yeah. side two. Crouching uh, hard punch from dog was a menace and it was dealt with, um, but maybe it was dealt with a little too much. I'm not I'm not sure to say. Yeah. Uh, I probably wouldn't say so. It's def it definitely does uh, struggle. But uh, it's still a good move. You just gotta be a little bit more aware of it now. And it's just, it's just, it's just the fact that his, his more optimal uh, anti air is just really dang slow. It's like mm -hmm. I think 12 frame startup or or, uh, or uh, 13 frame startup. So it's just, it's just yeah, it's like sometimes to get it, to not be able to anti air properly sometimes. Yeah. But he does have a four frame <laughs> invincible reversal. So yes, he does have he does have a DP, which is very very powerful. Is there no pickup after that? That jumping um, hard kick? Uh, jumping hard kick? Uh, well, no, 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 yeah, she can't do anything. Can't, can't, can't slide, unfortunately. Does not have, doesn't have enough frame advantage to get anything on the bed. That would be cool, but I don't know if he needs that. <laughs> it would be cool. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what the jumping pierce was. No. Uh, I thought Will was going to show us the run here, but he used a bar. Well, gotta punish that. That's, I think, 19, negative, I think 17. No, negative 16, I think, actually. Oh. Ooh, caught him with the standing fierce, but didn't do anything afterwards. Yeah, DP's right out. You guys are just slugging it out right now. Yeah, that, that's the Will Classic. He does backdash and EX DP. Kind of just to kind of re regain control of the stage. It should be death. Yep. Will takes game one. And this, this will be another first to three. This is a very back and forth set. Both players kind of just looking to kind of get their mix going. And right now it's going in Will's favor. Because uh, Fire is getting a little is getting a little too impatient with his buttons and it's kind of catching him. I've seen, I've seen a lot of counter hits in this set. A little too, a little too, uh, leaves the wrong run rather. If you do light run, that's what happens. The slide will whiff. You gotta do heavy run after, after that combo. Could have picked it up. He can't can combo that with in the slide. It's gonna hurt. Didn't get the counter hit though. Unfortunately, it was a little too slow. It is. It is a bit hard to punish the the pinwheel on landing. It doesn't have a lot of uh, landed frames, yeah. so the timing can be a, little, a bit awkward. Goes for, Ooh. The, goes for the mini JTC. Now, if you see a dog do that, generally, it's it's generally okay to go go, go for parry because for the most part, that's what they want. They want the meaty. They're not really doing a corpse corpse hop there, so it is okay to go out for a parry there just to kind of get to that situation. DP's right out. And you're already back to the center of the screen here. Caught us, yep, that, that, that was a classic. Fire does two buttons at once and he can get caught by stuff like that. Goes to the media slide. It's like fires, or willpower slides just get hit by it. Does not deal with the situation, I suppose. And you gotta learn to double double dip your, your parries when you're fighting a dog. Yeah, double dip or a parry EX pinwheel. That's yeah. what you gotta do. Could have punished that, not quite though. Ooh. Caught him moving, caught him mashing. Go to the full combo, set up, corpse out, front. Yep. Tries to try to, try to parry it, or to, DTC apparently. No meter to end it there. So backdash is out. Nice. Better option, because usually fi uh, Fire likes to backdash into the sweep. So good to using a, a, a much safer low option there instead. Fire takes game, game two. So you guys are going back and forth with the games here. Uh, as long as Will can, you know, block, I think he has a chance here. But if he's not blocking, this will get fired. I think he needs to really kind of take control of this game. If it is the backdash he was talking about, he said do it that time, and it actually worked. Overhead again. Yep. It was a little too far for the punish. I believe it is negative five now, if I remember correctly. I can't remember exactly now. 
mess the combo up. That's a punish. Yep. Push your set up. Goes on to get right behind him. Misses the combo, though. <laughs> Gets him with the pinball nonsense. Yeah, I think just cashing out might have been better there. Yep, I agree. Oh, could have could have gotten EX uh, headbutt for the finish. Catches him with the roundhouse. Yeah, gotta be careful that DTC. Really powerful technique by Dog. You can take control. You can take complete control of the stage or the of the block block stun again with that DTC. It's a punish. Yeah, Will's a big fan. Both these players are actually big fans of the run overhead. Um, and that's obviously a risk you have to take, or rather, you, you know, you, you, you do take if you decide to do that option. Um, if you have life lead, I don't recommend it because, you know, you're just kind of giving away life at that point if they do block it. Yeah, fire one, not to reverse a lot, but that one worked out for him. Um, but now Will is coming back with, and he'll cash out quick. Nice little bit of damage there does get a hard knock situation. Goes for the throw. Throw him again. Nope, gets, gets caught. Misses up, messes up his own meaty. Goes for the EX slide variation set for better frame data. Corpse out. Not quite. Cross up. Yep. Goes for the throw yeah, after the run stop throw is, is doing a lot of work. It's very powerful for dog. If you're not crash checking, you will get caught. Oh almost conversion there. Didn't have enough meter to finish it out though. So it would still be one hit either way. Oh, not quite. So close. Oh, goes to the overhead. I knew it. Oh, nice. Wow. Interesting choice from both players. Uh, the sweep was nowhere near really. range. <laughs> and the x was nowhere in range. These puppies and peepee are going crazy. So we're not quite done yet, guys. It is a first to three. Because uh, this is losers. But maybe Will's going for a character swap. If, it's, if it was my choice, he's to choose Roy. Ooh. Yeah, uh, he, he does. Yeah, he's going with Roy. Yep. Because he's getting a lot of the 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 scrambles. He's, they're, they're both training back and forth. They both both each other. One person hits, and the other the next person hits. One person hits, the next person hits. A character who does that, who who kind of shines in that kind of like play style, is definitely a Roy, because mm. obviously their damage conversion will be a lot stronger in those kind of back and forths. Okay, big jump in here. The jump is really powerful in this matchup because if you look, if a, if, a, if a Roy is fishing with a low forward, that's a great time to just jump out or jump jump right at him. This was punished with low from the low forward. Okay, Try to do it again, but it was a little too was a little too late. Yeah, oh, big jump in. Okay, so the damage ender, corpse out. Yep. Oh. That side swap was disgusting. Nice cash out here. He, needs, he did, definitely needs to. Just throw it. No, he's not. Fires is not interested. Armor's right through Ooh, it. Okay. Very nice. He could have slid to finish it off, but as since you do have armor for the most part of that uh, duration of that run, both options worked. I don't know if it's an untackable window in this game, actually. I'm actually not sure. Little parry. There's a lot, a lot of blue going on right now. Backs off. Not want to deal with Ooh, he's getting very these big nice. jump ins. Yeah, he's, move, he's, he's using his movement to kind of control that, that low forward option. Instead of kind of staying in the range where it will hit, because he's backing up, waiting for the opponent, the, the Roy to kind of get a little lazy with it, and that's when he catches him. That's something I don't want to see. Don't do those risky parries when you're ahead, because that just took off more than half its all. Yeah, it's all—it's absolutely gone now. Goes for a setup instead. Once again, it's just not quite working out. It was a little too fast on it. Nice, great. He has one more Need chance. Hit, Catches him out of the air. Yeah, so Dog does not have me, me situation after after yet after slide, and so I, I was going to say something else, but it doesn't matter now because Fire takes the game. So Fire's in grand finals for the first finals. time since the weeklies have been instated. 
I don't know why I'm typing here and knows to get in here. I'm not even gonna bother. Everyone put your dog emotes in chat for powering up fire. All the dog emotes you can find. As as the resident dog, dog as well as a fellow dog main, I wanna see my man fire take this victory. I'm I'm gonna pop off if he wins. I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully that doesn't get too doesn't doesn't spook him too much, but I have absolute faith in him and dealing with Aaron. The matches were pretty close last time. Uh, Aaron did have advantage over it, but seeing he know he, he knows that this this character gives Aaron a hard time. He knows it, so I think he needs to take advantage advantage of that and, and just really give Aaron uh, the business when it comes to what makes the dog so powerful. Uh, before the match starts, I do want to give a shout out to both. Aaron and called us for donating to the prize pool. Aaron with the 40 bucks and called us with 20. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Hey, shout outs to Caldas. That's a good friend of mine. Uh, big homie. Love you, love you, bud. Thank you so much for donating to the cause. Uh, oh, and he donated with buying Punch Planet Steam oh, Early Access. That's, that's fun still a to thing. See. Welcome to so, the squad, man. If you want to buy the game, buy it through Matcherino and it'll match the price of the game into the pot. And that Which has, will be matched. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be matched, yep, for, for the uh, charity, for, not charity, excuse me, for the nonprofit organization that we are working with, which is Black Orlando Tech. The devs are matching whatever price pool that we do use to that organization. So shout outs to the devs as well. Shout outs to you guys for breaking 250. We are now at 261 bucks 50 cents. This money is going to one of these two players. Uh, the Rather, the biggest chunk will be going to one of these two players. And I want to see my boy Fire Take. Let's go! I want to see 300 in that, uh, that Matcherino, too. Oh, so, man. you haven't bought the game yet. We need two of you to buy it through Matcherino, and that's $300. Yep, yeah, that will be... Let's see if I can do the math right. What was the what was the bracket? How many people do we have in this tournament? One, thir 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 13 players? I believe so. So, 130 bucks plus another 300 bucks to the to the nonprofit organization will be coming from the Punch Planet players, as well as from Bonesaw himself. So, that's a lot of money going out to, going out to some good causes here, guys. So, let's see it happen. Yeah, fired a real big start there, but Roy is fighting back. Yep. Good anti air there. Nice double parry. Oh, wait, I like it. Oh, that, punish that. Yeah. Oh, could have got a little more, but that's okay. Any damage is damage. Another, another death opportunity okay there. It is Roy. We've talked about Roy ad infinitum. If he gets a hit, you're dead. So yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah, this is where fire kind of, he, he has to be careful now. Just kind of play patient. Oh, have a life leap. Oh, try to try to go through it. The armor. Nice. Yeah. That move is his farthest range normal in the game right now. Uh, crouching short, deceptively long range for how small his paw is. But you gotta watch out. He's pawing at your ankles. Okay. Empty jumps instead. So his hitbox will stay stay shrunk. The nice thing about this matchup that I like is uh, Roy struggles and trying to keep his back away from the wall when it comes to dog and since you're in the corner pretty pretty often as a Roy player when you're fighting in, the, in this matchup and that's obviously what we want what you want as a dog player walks out of the throw doesn't get the, the full punish on it that's gonna hurt big damage your whole life bar gone in a flash but now he's got no meter so he's not scary yeah Nice thing about it is, like I said, I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, your life is a resource. If you can get the, that advantage away from the opponent early enough, it's not that bad. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, doesn't get the punch though on the throw. He gets the, the shimmy. Gets the pickup. All right, he has three T-bars here. He can do a lot of stuff. He can go for slides to just go for DTC stuff. Make it safe. Oh, I like it. EXD uh, it out. Fire is not one to just let EX Pinwheel rip a lot, so when he does, it hits. Yeah. And Fire takes game one. And my reminder, guys, Fire is in loser's bracket, meaning that he has to win six games Ready? in order to take this grand Engage. finals, and he's looking good with that first one. Oh, nice try. Did the li did light run instead. That's why that whiffed. I'm loving these double parries, but if Aaron does pick up on him, he could jump in with one button, wait for parry punish, so it is a little bit risky. Not let him, not let him get out of this corner. This is where Dog wants ya. Oh, he decides to give him the space. Ooh, nice punish. Yeah, we can't do much yeah, after a roundhouse. Playing real, real nice here. He's got a huge life lead, so what he could he do kill. is just kind of <gasps> wait for Roy to hang himself here. So 
Okay, this... no, he still has a powerful advantage here. The Roy has no DTC, and that's what really makes this make or breaks this matchup. If the Roy doesn't have DTC to make his headbutt sweeps or low shots safe, uh, that's great for Dog. That means he can kind of control the screen. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh no, that's safe. I always forget. Yeah. It looks like it shouldn't be. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I might I might agree that it shouldn't be, but you know. Oh, okay, he can kill one more run, more run. EX run, we'll kill, we'll chip now. So Aaron has to be ready for the that. Down part of EX pinwheel, uh, do chip. Yes. Oh, that's not gonna kill, but it's gonna put it close. We're oh. in the we're in a chip fight. Oh, it's oh too far. God. I don't Shot. like this. He's down. Okay, yeah, okay. He's on the ground. Right, you're the only one that can chip now. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> this man just walks under him. That was so sick. Let's go, fire. That was amazing. Can I get some bugs? That was so crazy. That was super smart, though. That was so smart. Yeah, I'm a big fan of using your movement to get under, under some situations like that, so good stuff to fire to deal with that. Kept us cool. It punishes the kickback of the gun. Goes to the setup. Goes for the setup. Nice. Yep. Goes oh, low. Damn, nice side switch. Need the overhead. He's a big fan. Slide. Other side. You're in the corner on the other side. Now, what do you think? No meter now, though, so he has to be ready. Oh, caught him. He, he hit him with that twice. Yeah. Uh, in this tournament. So Fire likes is a big fan of that. He will just neutral jump on your wake up, which in most fighting games is actually pretty bad because you can anti it with some pretty dangerous stuff uh, in other fighting games for the most part. And this game too, even in this game, but you can, if, if you're not careful, you might get, you know, get you know, a little lost in the sauce there and uh, just get kind of frozen up and you can cop other jump, jump options for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Wasn't ready for it. Yeah, I think a lot of us are conditioned to block, slide, punish, slide, and that's just not something you can do on autopilot. Yeah. If he has the right mix, you have to just deal with it. Ooh, caught his uh, standing fierce. Wasn't ready for the dive kick. Set up? Yep, goes for the throw. I like it. He's in a groove, and it is working. Yeah, this is what you want. This is what you want a dog player. Once you kind of get the flow going, especially against a player like Aaron, who gets really frustrated pretty fast when it comes to just getting mixed. Is death? Yeah, it's death. Yeah, it's death. It's Roy. <gasps> no! Oh, so you fool! Oh my god. He just should have supered. Oh my goodness. Gotcha. Ready? All right. Engage. Not too bad, though. He still has still has the meter advantage here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Fire is on, on, on a tear. He's on fire right now. He's on his namesake. Uh, but, unfortunately, does take a nice little chunk of change there uh, from the little forward super. Not too bad, though. Could have slid there punish. Just get away, uh, further away from having Knuckle Sandwich available, so yes, that'd be you very can try spin it as a positive. Oh, try the combo. I'm a big fan of that combo, but unfortunately, it, I think he probably missed his butt button. I'm not sure. That was very strange. Oh, big jump in. Try to enter with standing, standing I wish punch. just cashed out. Oh, no, man. I, I wish you would, too. Oh, okay, okay, cash out. Oh, damn it. Cash out. <laughs> Harry. Yeah. Harry. He could have killed, killed again. Out. Yeah, but... This is, this is Fire talking about. He's not really the one to use supers. Both times he had a kill, but it worked out. Yep. It, it did work out, but it's super scary, especially against Roy, because <sighs> Roy only needs that one hit, especially yeah. when you're at that health. So when you let him live, you're giving him another chance. Yeah, no, I, I agree 100%. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to bring Fire back in the dojo to really properly deal with these uh, <laughs> with the situations where he has the immediate to kill. Just like let him do combos and you just yell super. <laughs> super, yeah. Just pause the game and just super him and give, give him a that tap on the snoot. If that is plus, I think plus, I think plus zero actually. I'm not sure. Plus zero. Challenges it. Low four does have a bit of startup. I think I think it's nine frames. Okay, he's really putting on the pressure here. He has to. Yeah, and Aaron's up. Not really ex headbutting out. So. And I like said that with fire, he will get, he will keep going. He won't stop unless you tell him to. Nice. Okay, good hit here. But he's, he needs one solid hit, and he need, uh, that, oh, that's not punishable. Yep, not, not quite. Negative three. Some of, some of dog's options confuse me. <laughs> they can be a little confusing <laughs> sometimes. Just basically, if you ever see him doing yellow stuff into run, uh, he will usually do a, uh, unsafe but not punishable option. They're all negative, but, it, but it's armored. It is armored. <laughs> I do think that uh, EX run into stuff is, is pretty, it's, it's a pretty good tool, uh, especially if you're not getting carried for it. Yeah. So, and it has been giving fire a lot of mileage here. Yeah, 
fire tried to mash out, but got hit by head by low forward. Okay. Oh, boop, 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 miss. Unfortunately, was a little too far. Did the, did the EX tackle a little too, did a little too late. Oh, get caught. I should be dead. Nice wait. Good patience. Fire was looking for a roundhouse into a runner. D or pinwheel gotcha. command uh, cancel. So, unfortunately, uh, did not work out because the just waited, waited out. I think we just need more dogs in chat. I think that'll help. Give him the dogs, y'all. Give Fire Tripper your power. Nice catch. Good whiff punish there. Takes control of the corner once again. He decided to jump. He jumps right out. Very nice. Very common habit for players to do that is they'll, they'll jump out. Corpse hop. Oh, man. That was a schmix. To the throw. Yeah, he needs to EX it out. Because Fire's not going to stop if you don't tell him. That should be a death, yep. Yeah, I think he might have been able to kill there without the EX. I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know dog routes, but hey, rounds around. Engage. Nice slide. Goes to the neutral jump. Nice throw tag. Doesn't don't want to deal with that. Get off me. Stagger pressure is so good in this game, and I'm, I'm loving Aaron doing it. Uh, I think he's throwing a couple more throws and maybe an overhead too to really catch it. But he's sitting on four bars now. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, he exit. That's what I like to see. Now he has. Now fire has to slow down. He's like, okay. Now he kneels the options on the table. Now goes through the DP. Goes to. Let's go for damage instead. Yeah, this is definitely fire's round to lose. So all he has to do is play real patient, real safe. The four safe. bars are about to come out, and you know what that means. It's die in one punch time. He's definitely giving him the punch plan if he gets one good hit. Oh, we should just throw out the low forwards. He's fishing. Oh, oh. I, I always think it's I always think it's negative yeah. every time, even though we just talked about it. <laughs> and fire resets the bracket. Yeah, Aaron was getting a little too gung ho with those low fours, and that's what makes this matchup powerful for Dog. If you are lazy, if you are mindless with your low forwards, that will give Dog everything he wants. So good stuff. And yeah, they're just jumping right back into it. And since they're doing that, I want to do a shout out to Call Us again for dropping another 40 bucks. We're at 302 and 20 cents we right now. We hit 300 American bucks. Shout out to Eric, you're sick, man. Thank you so much, Caldas. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate your support. That is 300 bucks that I want this this dog to get. Give him the money. Why not uh, 325? That sounds easy enough, right? Yeah, that's definitely easy enough to me. I definitely agree. Ooh, nice side switch. I got hit. Ooh, bad parry. Ooh, yep. Parries are coming kind of back out. I don't think they were a huge thing in the in the games he was winning. So I think he needs to kind of just shy away from him a little. Yeah, and it's something that dog players will do, especially to uh, especially a player like Fire, is once he gets two or three jabs and his in his block strings, he will do something else. He'll do overhead, he'll do a jump, uh, he'll do a run situation, because uh, it's very common for dogs, so that's what else they want. They want to kind of keep the pressure going, but you can easily interrupt that, interrupt that situation with movement or a button. Ooh, yeah, these oh whiff punches. Fire is so cool. Oh, I am such a fan. I, I want his autograph. About to be the, the 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 dojo of fire. Yeah, take it, man. I suck. <laughs> Me too. That's why we're here. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, he tried. He's doing the right option to beat the, the anti-air that Aaron's going for. Yeah, Fire's on a roll. Once again, Fire is not the type to stop his his momentum unless you make him stop. He's, he's not really a baiter until you... Or rather, he's not the type to bait anything unless you give him a reason to bait. So right now, with no EX, uh, EX uh, headbutt on, on the table, Fire is just taking, just rolling. He's steamrolling him right now. Counter hit. Misses the combo. I'd even go as far to say is him getting Aaron to EX Headbutt is a win for him because that means he's further away from Knuckle Sandwich. Yeah. The challenge is yeah, that was that was a bad roundhouse. It was a little too high. Nice All right, so that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's a that's a big anti there. And this is this. This is a spot I don't know if a dog can come back, but I would love to see it. Yeah, dog's not really not really known for his comebacks as he has to keep putting his face into the opponent, but Aaron was not gonna give him a chance. Takes first game. First game of losers of the of the reset. Both players are kinda of playing this for the most part correctly. I just think Aaron needs to take it easy on the fishing. 
Maybe use gun. Maybe use low gunshot uh, without a low forward option. Just kind of keep dog in place, as well as medium gunshot to keep him from moving as well, uh, because he's getting hit by a lot just from the fact that he's just whipping low forward like crazy and letting dog just jump in. Because with 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 how powerful crouching HP is on Roy, that should that should kind of be off the table pretty pretty easily. Wow, oh, man. what a cross! I got hit. Oh, messed up the combo. You need to do crouching, crouching fierce, and the gunshot first, and then the JTC. Nope, get oh, bad overhead. Doing punish, he, right? Yeah, that's definitely punishable. He did a five framer, but I guess he's too slow. So I think it's negative. I think it's five or seven. I don't remember. Especially with that range. Oh, mess up the uh, situation. He as well. Oh, staring out. Yeah, that's just, just hanging out, not, not moving a muscle. Caught the gunshot. Yeah, all of dog slide options after the knockdown aren't real meaties, uh, so you can definitely get out of the situation pretty easily with movement. Backs up, I like it. Don't go. Nice. Did not go for the overhead time, and, and Aaron thought he was. Instant overhead. So that's the first time he's done that this whole tournament. He hasn't been doing that as much. I know that he loves to do that to finish out rounds. Yeah, I was hoping. And there we go. Yeah, I was hoping. I'm glad he does that because uh, at first he what he would do is he would do that in the middle of the, the middle of the set and lose his entire like ground. So I'm glad he's saving that for near the end. Goes for the damage ender. That was unsafe, but worked out. He can jab there to check that. I'm writing that down. Yeah, anytime you do a, see a dog do roundhouse into run, and if they, if they press a button, you can just do a, any sort of anything below six frames will catch, I believe. Oh, the armor didn't kick in in time there. It does need, I think, three frames to kick in. Ooh, that was in front. Works out. Oh, Waits oh. it out. And still gets it, but yeah, that that EX headbutt is real hard to punish if you're in the air when it uh, whiffs. Yeah. yeah. It's really awkward to deal with a reversal that's that that's that recovers that quickly. Well, only a few characters have that option, and Roy's okay. definitely up there for sure. Engage. Yeah, so we're at one one here. Oh, oh if he just waited on that on that freaking uh, on that freaking <laughs> on that option, that actually would have worked out for him. Bad slide, yeah, that's punishable. Run slide is punishable almost about anywhere, it doesn't have the really powerful advantage that regular slide does on, or command slide does uh, from the certain ranges. So empty jumps and fire waits. Yeah, I do see that he's been kind of hesitant to anti air, which I know Roy's jump ins are scary. So maybe like switching to like a parry on on Roy's jumping might help a bit. I know he's been doing that in the past. Should be dead. Ouch. I thought there'd be a pixel. Damn. Gun loose, boys. This man got looped. But, yeah, that, that that round was basically just fire, kind of just going for an option that just wasn't quite working. He was doing a run. He did run slides. He did parries on wake up. He did the sweep, and then got neutral jumped a lot. Cause that's what Aaron needs to do. Aaron, uh, neutral jump, like I said, this matchup is really powerful. Or any matchup against Dog is really powerful. Uh, so that's that's an option you gotta think about a lot. I like the target combo into DTC. I'm not sure how plus it is. I don't really see it, but that was, that was really cool. Yep. Nice. nice empty jump into the big old damage. Goes for the combo under again. Overhead. Oh, decides to get out. Nice parry. Nice parry. Was it still in the air still? So he did a little too, a little too fast. Nice combo here. Shot, shot. Builds meter. Oh, I like it. Run up. Super. Throw. Not quite. Decides to save it. Once more. Kind of agree at that instance there because he, uh, well, maybe not because it was last round. Yeah. So, second game goes, third game goes to Aaron here. It is now 2 1. Oh. All right, guys, I need you guys to get fire your energy. It's getting real close now. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Not seeing enough dogs in chat. Aaron needs one more game to take this set. Ooh, just goes with the uh, overhead here. Yep, that was a plus uh, uh, JTC. Oh, missed, oh, missed it just far. barely. Oh, unfortunate. Not quite. Yep. Nice, nice uh, parry there on the low forward option. Yeah, these parries aren't working out. I think I try to take the take a little easy on these parries. A little too oh, far for the fierce. Well. Crap, too far. I would have liked super up. there. It should kill. Oh, it decides to go for it. Well, not quite actually. I'm a liar. 
We saw it go for all his meter. Oh, Noosh jumps out. Wow, Fries I didn't punish. That's safe. Double oh, the double? Nice. Wow, Ca caught him caught pressing a button there. That was scary. Like that, any any button after that, any button after that would have hit and killed the super. So that's crazy. Ooh, jump big once jump again. So he jumps are doing wonders for fire right now. I, I, I never get a jump like that. Anytime I jump, I, 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 I freaking get clipped. What's the deal? Yeah, me too. Oh. Nice save you jump. And hitbox is shrunk. Oh man, yeah, that is an option. Luckily, that damage isn't as scary as it is. Those three bars could have been somewhere else. Yeah, these bars so. are not working. At this point, I think it's just, I think it's just safe bet just to deal, just to take the gunshot. That's what I do. I don't like parrying gunshot. It's just too risky because the gun cancel can get you counter hit, and it just hurts. Yeah, I agree with you there. Overhead goes oh. low. We're in two two. We're going to final final game. Oh man, will fire take this? Oh, um, I can't. This is, this is so sick. I'm so excited. All right, Aaron's on the ropes here, but he ha he's been doing okay. He just keeps get, keeps getting caught once the once the mix starts getting going. Wait, that worked. That works again. Yep. Get that just jump in there. I want to see all the dogs in the chat, y'all. Dog Dory May Four, my man Fire Tripper, the school of of Swift here. Come in the clutch. It's gonna hurt a lot, but he doesn't have. Well, he could have, I think, used that DTC to to come in. Oh. But. He's gonna take a quick round one, and he has the meter lead too, which is real dangerous here. Okay, loses his meter. I think it's real smart not to not to go for the parry there. Like, why risk it? Yeah, uh, that's, no that's reason. I thought. All right, let's keep it in safe here. Just holding the ground. Nice. I like this. This is what I can't piss off. I'm a fan of. The jumps weren't as necessary, but thankfully it wasn't too bad. This is gonna hurt. He's gonna get nope, a little too far for super. Yep, says to just catch out regularly. Still gets crazy damage. Yeah, still hurts. But fires back in. Goes for the meaty. That's plus four. Yeah, that is doing so much work for him today. Nice mix, but Aaron was ready. Got hit by the second hit. That should be dead. And we're, we're going to final round. Final, final round, guys. Oh my goodness. This game, you guys take it down to the wire. Woo! Oh, nice catch. The no more armor on that pinwheel last. That's, that's coming down. Goes low. That's a jump. Yep. Okay. Call him that time. Yeah, oh, count the gun cancel. Nice throw tech. Doesn't want to deal with it. And Tyre is him with that's, the jumping. That's a good answer, but he's, he's adapting. That's real smart. Yep. Didn't, do, didn't deal with that one. Got clipped. Goes for the setup. Oh, messed up the, the pinball just a little bit. Over the throw, so Fire gets to come back here. I love the walk forward. Didn't do a thing. That's fine. That's great for you, actually, because he's further away from Knuckle Sandwich. Still, Gun Super meter, does though. do a lot. Both have three TT, TTC bars. I want to see them use this. Good stuff. Corpse Hop. Block on the corpse hop into super here. Oh, a little too far into the scramble. Oh, this, this should be dead. Oh, it should be dead. Come on. Yeah. That's oh, it. Man. And Aaron takes it. Whoo! Unfortunately, oh, Fire decided to go for the corpse hop, and that's what I'm talking about. He puts himself in the corner and unfortunately was not able to take the damage because Fire Dog has second lowest health in the game. Oh, yeah, and Aaron I takes it. That was, that was risky business. God and... dang it, Fire! Darn! It was so close. It was so <laughs> close. So, so close. Woo! What a set. Congratulations. A beautiful set. But once again, the script is... The prophecy has been foretold. Only way Aaron wins is if he's in losers. So you gotta beat him in winners, guys. You gotta keep him in winners all the way, and that's how you win. But, does losing uh, in grand final count? I, mean, I don't know if that can... Right now it does, man. It says, as far as I'm concerned, unless someone proves me otherwise. Woo! So, okay. Now that he's done this, yeah, he has to at least be in loser's side in some fashion. Yeah. Oh, man. What a set. So, hey, no problem, Fire. Guys, give everybody, everyone give Fire some love for that amazing grand finals. Give him the Dory May, the Dory May dog. Guy was an, was an incredible set all around from both players. Fantastic. Oh. 
That's what I like to see. I, I was worried going into to grand finals that Aaron would just take it and he'd take it quick. That's but fair. fire came came up here. Yeah. Yeah, put on let's go. And I'm glad, you know, Aaron obviously has struggled a lot in that matchup and it's good to see him able to clutch it out despite his uh, forthcomings uh, and his biases towards that character. Um, during the set, though, I did get some did get, on, I did get some gift subs. Shout out to Willpower Gift in five subs. He gave a sub to uh, Hero of Harmony, uh, uh, to Luchesco, or Lucas Fio... Lucas Fio... Dois? I'm not sure how to say it. Lucas Fio... Do? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, Ross Lips, Beast in Shen, and a pretty obnoxious cat. Thank you so much, Willpower, for the gift subs. Uh, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching today. We are currently at 302 bucks in the pot. Uh, that will be going 70% will be going that to Aaron, uh, with 30% going to Fire, and then the third place will get a punch planet code to give out to a player. Uh, congratulations to Aaron for make, taking another punch planet victory. Oh man, oh what a set! We've both back to back tournaments have had some crazy yeah. grand finals. Man, that was a very grand finals. Guys, I, I don't know about you, earlier in the week when I saw there was two entrants in the tournament. I was worried. I was. Yeah, I was. But, uh, Y'all came and y'all brought it. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of players this time, but that didn't matter. The matches were still just as incredible. Oh man, what an amazing grand finals! Ooh, I'm looking forward to watching that again because, uh, for the most part, I take Aaron's for the most part pretty well. But I'm learning. I'm learning a lot from watching Fire play every single day. So mm. good stuff to him, guys. If you guys want to check out some more of those stuff, check out check me out on YouTube. Uh, that is at Switchmas TV as well. Huh, but before we go, guys, uh, I want to give out a shout out to uh, uh, the excuse me the organization the nonprofit that we are helping helping support this week. Uh, that is the Black Orlando Tech. Three hundred bucks uh, will be going to that organization, uh, and uh, it's contributed contributed by the Punch Planet crew. Uh, they are matching the Punch Planet Matcherino donation count over to the organization if you guys want to check that out at all please do so it is a organization uh non-profit organization helping people of color find jobs and find careers in the tech world uh it is super super awesome i think the grand total is going to be like 432 bucks something like that because 130 bucks from the participants and then the crowd pot the pot will also be added as well and i think you will also be donating 130 bucks to that during yes, as well I did and um... I'm so proud of this community. We've been raising so much money for, for different things, and it's yeah. great to see y'all come out and, and support all these great causes. Yeah, absolutely. So before we go, guys, my name is Swift. You guys can find me on Twitter at Swiftimus, and then here on Twitch, Swiftimus TV. You can find me on YouTube as well. My YouTube guys, please give, a, give, me, a, give me that lovely subscription. You guys can find more VODs of Punch Planet. Uh, guys, if you guys think I should change anything, if you guys want to see something any, any different, please let me know in the Discord. Otherwise, thank you guys all so much for watching. Bone, give us what? Give us your stuff. Where, where can they find you? I'm, all, I'm the Bone So Baker on everything. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Come hang out. We do uh, horror movie nights at 7 p.m. Central on my channel, Bone Saw Baker, on Twitch every Monday. Come watch them. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Punch Planet. We will see you all next Thursday. Fire. You're with you're winning next you're winning next you're winning next Thursday. Guaranteed. 100 percent You're winning. That that's just there's no and ifs or buts. You're winning. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next Thursday. Take it easy. So real quick, guys, before I before I uh, before I go, I want to give a shout out to Fire Tripper. He is going to be donating his winnings to the uh, the Bo the Black Orlando Fund. He's not taking the money; he's going to give it to charity. So thank you so much, Fire. You're an, guys, you're you're an amazing guy. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, so he's not taking the prize money; he's going to give it back to charity. So shout out to Fire Tripper. Everyone talks about how Mage Dog plays out, but man, what, look what we're doing! Look what we're doing! 
Anyway, I'm out of here. here. I've always loved dogs. I've always hated Roy's. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the Roy's. Finals, y'all. Yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna let the music play for a little bit. Take some stuff here on the side. Enjoy the, enjoy the tunes. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all next Thursday. Peace. <laughs>